Pig Geezer shows up here today. I want to ask him if uh, when he had that that issue, if the holidays were involved. So I did sleep a full 24 hours here. So we're at 19 hours into the playthrough. I would hate to have to run into something like this. This early. level 15. I didn't realize we were we just hit level 15 before the end of the stream last night. So I think. We got some stuff to do first, but I think we're going to go get Underground Hideout unlocked today. Because Nora, the Vaultborn, needs a home. She needs a permanent home. She's actual, actual home. So here we are in Rivet City. I just want to make sure everything's here. So yes, once again, the Vaultborn. Leg Legacy of the Vaultborn, my Fallout 3 character. Nora, the Vaultborn. There she is, 10 years ago, outside Rivet City. Hey, Lilac, how you doing? Good to see ya. Coconut, how you doing? Welcome, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, Nora the Vault born. She really wasn't born in a vault, but she has acceptance issues, and that's what she tells everybody. She was actually born in Project Purity at Jefferson Memorial. But that's her, 10 years ago in Rivet City. Now she's in the in the capital, yeah, the capital Commonwealth. Capital Commonwealth Wasteland. She she She's uh, looking for the Institute. She had it with the Brotherhood of Steel. Elder Maxon really, really got under her skin. Did not like what he was doing to the Brotherhood. So she said, screw this. I'm going to go find this institute that Dr. Zimmer told me about 10 years earlier. Because it sounded like a wonderful place full of science, technology, very much her thing. Well, she gets to the Commonwealth and turns out this institute does not have a very good reputation at all. They kidnap people. They wipe out entire villages. Yeah, so she's... Still trying to figure out some uh, some information on what's going on here. Rivet City, you say? Yes. Uh, let me turn the... Uh, there we go. So, that's the Vaultborn. Her beautiful armored Vault 101 jumpsuit. And uh, we're going to go over the stats here. Right here in Diamond City where we left off. Uh, Stat-wise. Yeah, we just hit level 15 last night before the end of the stream. So, I think we'll go get Underground Hideout today. Um, stats are pretty much where we left them. Intelligence is 10. We got the, the Intelligence bobbleheads, so that's up there. Uh, I don't think we'll be getting any other bobbleheads today. I do have the start of the Jack Cabot, the Cabot House quest line. So, eventually when we finish that, I'll get the Charisma bobblehead and bring that up to 10. So, but yeah, the special stats will not be going above 10 at all. And skills... Um, I tag lockpick, medicine, and rifles. Um, almost well, I, those two, except medicine, are, are over 50. Once I level up to level 16, I'm going to take the tag perk and put the 15 skill points from that into hacking. And I, I got to get Heather uh, Heather's lockpicking, or I'm sorry, Heather's hacking skill, because we are um, traveling with some friends here. We have um, the one and only Heather Kasdan. Sarge Arg, Thank you for that follow, Sarge. Welcome. Uh, so yeah, Heather Kasdan. And we've got the lovely and talented Kate, who we'll talk about very shortly. And of course, we have Dog. He's just Dog right now, and he's resting comfortably. Actually, I'm going to get Dog to follow here before I leave without Dog. Yes. Uh, so Kate. Let's have a chat with Kate here. What is it? Can I help? Yeah, what are your thoughts, Kate? I've got your back. You've got mine. All right. Uh, where are we relationship-wise? We're pretty much max affinity with her until we complete her quest. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. And in this shite hole we call a world, that's really saying something. So, yeah, 99.9 90, will max out. We have not done her companion quest yet, so I can't max out affinity with her until we do that. And that's going to be a while. And I'm not going to be going to Vault 95 anytime soon. I was actually contemplating leaving her here today, but I think we're going to bring her along at least for the first part of the uh, of the stream. No problem. And then we'll send her back here. Uh, for today, we are actually going to go do Unlikely Valentine. I want to go and get Nick because in our adventures through the Capital Commonwealth Wasteland, we, we did start over here at the castle. The, we came here on a boat called the Red Wave, which is now docked outside of uh, Hangman's Alley. But we made landfall here at the castle on the Red Wave, made our way up towards Good Neighbor. Trying to track down uh, Wade into the Institute. One name keeps coming up, and that name is a man, someone called Kellogg, which led us up to Vault 111, which is kind of a dead end except for the corpse of a vault dweller with a holotape. 
that had the same gravelly voice of an individual that uh, we found at University Point that apparently this guy was an Institute agent. So we got to figure out who the hell this guy is, what's going on, and uh, we, we tracked down a detective here in Diamond City called Nick Valentine. May be able to help us out, but of course he's not there. He's gone missing. Because in Fallout 4, to find the detective, you have to become the detective. So we have a quest. We have to go rescue Nicky. And I like Nick. Nick's one of my favorite companions. Um, so yeah, we are going to go rescue Nick. At some, well, Actually, when, when the first thing that's the priority for the first part of the stream. Once we get Nick, I do want to head up and um, get my player home unlocked. Underground hideout, which will be up, up here. We'll have to do a little quest for that. So the Vault Born will have her, chem or her Commonwealth version of Underground Hideout to go and live in. Um, Sarge says, uh, someone actually got my name right. Inflection and everything. Most people think it's French or something. Well, it's funny because we were just talking about Talk Like a Pirate Day in Diamond City yesterday. I had a little issue that I think I may have had, um, hopefully resolved. And um, yeah, the, so it was very fitting. And I always think of the castle Arg from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The Halloween, was that there yesterday? I don't remember if that was there or not, can do. That's a very good point. That may or may not have been there. I'm curious about that. I'm going to have to load up a save earlier. I don't believe that was there. In fact, I'm pretty sure that wasn't there. Huh. I'm pretty sure that... Hang on a second. Let's let's do that right now. I'm gonna make another save here. Let's load up an earlier save. I wonder if that's tied to the um to the thing. Alright, that's where I left off last night. I did not put it there. Nope. I the only thing I've done though Loot's home played is add the script to the refrigerator and for the tr and, and made the trash compactor. I've touched nothing else. Okay, maybe it was there. I'll have to go back and load up an earlier save. I did not put that there. Nope. Alright. So that's where we left off. So, somebody in the shower? Kate, get your clothes on, Kate. Sure, sure. Just keep your shirt on. Can I yeah. go? If you're using a Lutz home plate, do not leave with your companions in the shower animation. They will break. I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to break. Okay. Yeah, do not sure. leave leave your companions in that shower animation when you leave. Now, where's Heather? Where did Heather go? Oh, there's Heather. All right. Um, before we go and see Nick, I actually want to do... No, that's, it's a vanilla mesh. It's a custom texture, though. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, I think the only calendars on the vanilla assets are the, um, the Vault Tech ones. I'm actually going to take, you know what, I, I'm going to do a little bit of inventory maintenance. I'm going to take um, all the stuff that I brought in last night, I'm going to put into the APC. Because if we are going to get, um, I may actually be using the uh, the Ranger armor here too. Um, I'm all for taking all we can, but you're looking a little way down there. All right. Uh, I want to go out to the APC and see what I have for ammunition and whatnot there. Got something good for me? They walk around as if they're still in the shower. Exactly, Jaybird. How you doing? Yes, I was going to mention that's exactly what happens. They walk around, they still have the shower animation going, and they don't actually walk. They kind of teleport behind you. They, they, they become quite broken. So I always, um, yeah, there's she. Kate really wants to get a shower this better here. better be worth it. Anything wrong? Yeah, you got to get out of the shower. Fine by me. Nope, Riley's Ranger's combat armor from Fallout 3. I do not know what Raven armor is. How you doing, Grimstalker? No, it's Riley's Rangers combat armor. It's from the the classic um, classic combat armor mod. This is the Ra Riley's Rangers armor that the Vault Born got from Riley's Rangers in the Capital Wasteland. I'm gonna put the helmet on. But once I um, I I'm not wearing this now because I started off at level eight and it's a little OP. She brought this north to uh, the Capital Wasteland from uh, from DC. I didn't, I thought it was a little OP to start wearing this stuff at level 8, so until I see it start spawning naturally in the world on NPCs, it's going to stay in storage. It's deep pocketed, has the Raleigh's Rangers uh, paint scheme on it. Where's the torso? Actually, it doesn't show in the transform. It'll have the Riley's Rangers logo on the chest there. Once I um, 
have all, all where all the body pieces, it gives me a plus one luck. J just like the original in Fallout 3 did. It gave you plus ten guns and plus one luck as some of the best armor in the game. Agent Billow, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh, so I want to put that in the APC. Because if I'm going to be going up underground hideout tonight, or today rather, um, I want it there. Anything else here I want? I think that's good. Oh, you know, the painted army helmet? We'll take that. And the Vault 111 jumpsuit, we don't want that. Ammunition. We'll leave that stuff there. All right, let's make a save before I go out. Because sometimes the game crashes when I leave here. Raven NCR armor from Vegas. Okay, I know that there's there's actually two NCR Ranger armors that I've... There was the old Dogtooth Unoctium one from several years ago. And there's a Fault for New Vegas one. I have no idea what the Raven one is. So let's ta to expand my take a little spin around here. Doc Weathers to carry my stuff. Yeah, when I was it. out here earlier this morning testing, this woman... Still had that bug where she gets the um, the sewing machine sound. So if we go around here, we should hear, we should hear no Don't one. Bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't Hopefully. Nothing. Hope you didn't run into any trouble. No, no talking there. like a pirate. That bridge across the river. Super mutants use it as an ambush point. How you doing, Agent Billow? Yeah, I, I I don't hear any talk pirate talk. I did want to talk to Doctor Sun though. And I want to talk to Arturo real quick. Before we go rescue Nick, I need to do a little inventory maintenance. Yeah, I don't hear anything. Yeah. Oh, this isn't just a mod. This is many mods. Exclamation point mods will get you the mod list. This is many, many mods. Great stuff. If you're interested. Uh, let me see what you have. I actually want to see if he has any more plasma rounds. Everything hand tooled. Okay. Uh, I want to start looking at what I have. Oh, yeah, you have 14 more plasma. Okay. Um, anything else? How are we doing for microfusion cells? I'm going to buy a few more of those. Actually, you know what? Just give me what you got there, Arturo. I think I've, I've pretty much sold everything that I want to sell. I definitely don't want to sell that stuff. Okay, that's good. It's a little pricey, but we'll go with it. Yeah, I don't hear anybody, uh, which is good. Let me run over towards, um, do the rounds here. Okay, she's not making that noise like she was this morning. That's good. That goofy, um, the infinite sewing machine sound. Sometimes they get the sound from the armor workbench stuck on them. You're heading outside the wall. Yeah, nobody's nobody's talking like a pirate anymore. That's good. Don't let the stress of life I was hoping that um Oh, there's Ginger making a grand entrance. <laughs> Ginger Ninja, thank you much for those gift subs to Captain Nemo and Grimstalker. How you doing, sir? Hey Damien. Grimstalker one just resubscribed. Thank you very much, Ginger Ninja, for those wonderful gift subs, and your support is awesome and appreciated. Um, I was just saying, I, I think I may have fixed the talk like a pirate issue we were having last night. I don't hear Here, anybody talking like a pirate anymore. It's on me. You'll like it. Trust me. Sounds like a bunch of bollocks to me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love their banter. How's it going, Ginger? How the hell are you? Um, I'm going to make a save before we leave here. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think I may have fixed the issue we were having with the NPCs taking random damage last night. If you don't possibly. live here, you ain't nobody. Uh, actually, I want to talk to Dr. Sun. A wide variety I want to get rid of these rats. Uh, let's see. Uh, take a look at me, Doc. See what's wrong. Go over your symptoms with me. Uh, as Mr. Scott in Star Trek 2 would say, It's radiation. Uh, cure my rats, please. All right. Let's flush your system. Okay. I'll probably just get ratted up again, but I might as well get it cured while I'm here. And that's that. Okay. Anything else wow, bothering you? It's been you? an expensive day so far. No other complaints. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying. Actually, actually. let me see if he has any blood packs or Don't anything. Don't die. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Um, could use some supplies. Uh, 
Let's see what I can spare. Right, thanks for thanks again for those gift subs there, Jinja. It's very much appreciated. I hope you're doing well. Peeking out of that cave. I don't have anything else he's gonna buy. Okay, I thought maybe it'd have something. Um blood packs. You have no blood packs. Yes, we have no blood packs. Yeah, I've upped all the uh, all the service prices. So I really want to get if if I want to use them, I really want to use you know. It's a worthy investment. You keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking of Okay. Soon. So I want to go APC, drop some stuff off. Then I want to go over to the Diamond City Courier Station, take a look in the store, the shared storage. What I have for my plasma cartridges and 556 five, rounds, because I think I may want to change some guns out today. I've been itching to use the A321's plasma rifle. And it would be probably going to rescue Nick would be a good time for that. Head on inside. Head on inside, he says, as I'm as I'm leaving. Head on inside. Alrighty then. Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Alright, oh, Heather has some things, too. Alright, so for now, I'm going to put this stuff in here. I would love to take the infiltrator with me today, too. Um, but until I actually see... Combat armor spawning naturally on enemies. Or NPCs, not just enemies, but just in general. Those are going to stay there. Um, let's put those there. I'm going to take those. I don't need all of those. I certainly don't need all of those, especially if I if I may actually need the radium rifle here. Lucky you need the great green jewel. Okay. Quick drill trip down here to the courier station. I want to see what I have for ammunition. Bring that over to the APC. I want to start consolidating things to the APC so that when I'm ready to bring that stuff up to the underground hideout later, I'll probably do that off stream. Maybe tomorrow at some point. Uh, it'll all be there next time we uh, we get together. Setting up your new playthrough, going to be using APC in the Red Wave. Nice. Yeah, I'm actually, um, I want to use the Red Wave more this playthrough, Jinja. I've been so reliant on the Viderba Derbs. Uh, I, I kind of want to get away from that because Nora is not at all too keen on dealing with the Brotherhood. Yes, that's the other thing. Nora the Vaultborn, she left the Capital Wasteland to get away from the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, according to Heather Kasdan, they're camped out in Cambridge. Go figure. She left. She came all this way to get away from them. And they're 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 here. So we're not going to go to Cambridge anytime soon. Oh, the other thing I did. I did this this morning. Uh, the pre-war package food. Some retextures I'm using to make it look more like the Fallout 3 New Vegas style. Uh, they were way too clean for my liking. So I literally spent half an hour or so this morning just just adding some dirt to them. So the Dandy Boy apples are nice and dirty. The, uh, the pork and beans are all nice and scuffed. They were, everything was just too pristine and clean. And the cram. I got dirty cram now, so that was the other thing. All right, that is I'm going to need. This, oh, we have pencils. You know, I'm just going to take all these things. Again, this is a no crafting run, but I am collecting some odds and ends to craft, um, robot repair kits with mainly. Um, let's take... You know, we'll just take all of these. They're gonna put me over? No. I think we're gonna leave that stuff there. Uh, apparel. Let's grab some of this stuff in T40. Oh, do I have the X01? Yes, I. Oh, my Vault 101 jumpsuit? Yeah, we want. We definitely don't want to leave that behind. Oh, no. Alright, what did I, uh,. You know what? We'll leave that there. That's fine. I bother. That's just garbage. I toss it. I uh, want to move away. Ginger says, want to move away from Verter, but also use APC for Commonwealth Nuke World and Red Wave for Commonwealth Bar Harbor. That's cool. Oh, get the latest issue of Public Occurrences. Something just went boom, too. Yeah, I am I left the Vertebrid Beacon mod installed to give myself the option of... I'm going to craft it to give myself the option if I decide I 
do need to use a vertebrate for whatever reason or want to, I'll have it. But since uh, Underground Hideout is so close, I mean, it's literally right next door to the um, uh, Kingsport Lighthouse. That's going to be like my my uh, my transportation hub because both the APC and the Redway both go go there. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. Pencils. I'm going to give those to to to, the, to dog. And what I really wanted to see here was how much I have in the way of 556 five, and plasma carts. I may want to switch out some guns here. Give me one second to. Um, I want to drop a few of these. And I'll catch up on chat here in just a second. Bourbon. We have bourbon. I could probably sell some of that stuff. You know what? I'm going to get rid of some of this food here that I don't need. I don't need to carry all this. Hey, Vish. How you doing? Good to see ya. Hey, Captain Nemo. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to dump some of the food in here. 22 purified water, that's good for now. Do I, did I start a stash of that here? Let me see. I do. I, I like keeping a little stash of water in the APT. Just to have, but I don't need to bring all this food with me. I definitely don't need, oh yeah. Uh, we got basically all of these were under Piper's, Piper's dresser. Piper has a, has a, must have a, I almost said fetish. Piper has a thing for uh, yum yum doubled eggs apparently. I think that's good. All right, so ammunition. What I'm looking for is how much I have. I have 167, 556, 228 plasma cartridges. Well, now. Well, now. I think we're going to switch some guns around. Yes. APCs in the commons, same inventory. Well, technically, this is one APC and it just moves from spot to spot. But what it actually does, Damien, is it just enables and disables them depending on the location. But yeah, it's all shared storage. So, if I were to, quote, drive the APC over to Kingsport Lighthouse, I'll get the same stuff. Emmy! How you doing, Emmy? Vishvadiva50 just resubscribed. Can do. Thank you very much for gifting that sub to Vish. Appreciate that. Emmy, how you doing? Hang on a second. I want to give you a shout out. How the hell are you? I'll give you a shout out. Mass Effect Andromeda you were playing. What is, what, what is that game? I've never heard of that. I've never actually played that game. Finally got out of bed. Ah, oh, I've been up since 6 a.m. My time. It doesn't matter. If I don't set my alarm on the weekends, I still wake up at the same time like I have to get up and, and get up and ready for work and everything. I hate it. But I hope you're doing well. Welcome. Good to see you. We're, we're doing a, uh, a very special playthrough. A spin-off for Mass Effect that came out in like 2017, Oak World Exploration. Cool. I've never I've never played any of those games. I've watched people play them, but not all really familiar with them. But ah, it's good to see ya. Uh, we're doing a, a very special Ow. playthrough. What was that? What was that? Uh, this is my Fallout 3 character. Nora the Vaultborn. Ten years later after Fallout 3, she's uh she's trying to track down the Institute. She talked to some guy called Dr. Zimmer. And she got all starry-eyed about the Institute, so now she's here. A uh, legendary edition of the original trilogy just came out. Good time to check it out. Yes. Uh, just roleplay, but it's it's a ton of mods. It's a ton of mods. It's mostly roleplay, but I've done my due diligence to have Nora bring all her gear and equipment from the, uh, from the capital wasteland, including her vault suit, some of her guns, and um, even the Fallout 3 font I got going. <laughs> so... But yeah, she got A321's plasma rifle, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab that. And I have the infiltrator that she got from the pit. And she also has the metal blaster from the pit, too. But we're gonna grab and Sydney's 10mm Ultra SMG, the victory rifle. She brought a bunch of her toys. Riley's Ranger's combat armor, she's got that, but we're not wearing that until we actually see um combat armor spawn in the game naturally, so. But yeah, something an idea. I had been wanting to do an Institute playthrough for a while. I've only done one. And I was playing Fallout 3 and she talked to Dr. Zimmer and it's like, hmm. Well, there's an excuse for an Institute playthrough. 
Yes, Fish, we did. And actually, you bring up a very good point about Nyre. Uh, let me drop a link in chat here real quick. Uh, Nye has actually been in, in uh, making the rounds in the uh, in the streams there, Vish. Uh, she was actually here last night. So, um, if you guys don't know Nyre, she's a very talented mod author, friend of the streaming community here on the Twitches, and she had a pretty serious auto accident recently. Uh, she was kind of out of commission for all, but she's been, like, um, like Sierra likes to say, you're back! Yay! But she's she's been back, and uh, she has a GoFundMe. She has some serious medical expenses. So if you guys want to have a few caps to help her out, there is the link. Um, I want to mention it um, because we are using one of Nyre's mods. Uh, we're using her good neighbor mod in the good neighbor apartment. And she was actually here last night, Vish. She's, she's doing better. Every day a little bit further down that recovery road, but... Um, she's not quite back up to full hit points, but she's she's much better. But thanks for mentioning that, because I've been trying to remember to put that in the chat at the beginning, uh, at least a couple times during the streams. Alright, so, yeah, I'm going to switch out gun some guns here. I think Colonel- oh yeah, I also have Colonel Autumn's laser pistol. I think I'm going to leave that behind, too. I think one laser weapon is enough, so I'm going to bring my 5.56. And... my plasma cartridges. Okay, and let's do, uh, let's do a little bit of hot keying here. Alright, so Sydney's SMG, I'm gonna make that one. I think the infiltrator, I'll make two. I'll leave the metal blaster on three, the combat shotgun on four. Um, whoop. Victory rifle should be on five. Now we'll make that five, and A321's gun will put on six, the plasma rifle. Yeah, actually, we, I didn't know what was going on uh, with her until somebody mentioned it. I think it was like the first session of this this playthrough, because I hadn't, I hadn't, um, I really didn't know it had happened. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I got my infiltrator back. Do I want to take any more ten millimeter rounds? You know what? I'm gonna take a few more ten. All right. Let's go get Nikki. He may have some information on this Kellogg guy we're trying to track down. Kel this this name Kellogg keeps... Oh, block meat. Yep. Fallout 3 block meat, just like Fallout 4 block meat. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, boy. Really? We're really going to do this, Stoge? All right. Tra-la-la-la-la. Nothing like block meat. Block meat. Block meat never changes. All right, we're going to close him in there. We're going to close him in there. He'll he'll catch up. Does anybody know if getting stuck at vanilla workbenches is a vanilla bug or have to troubleshoot mod list? I don't have an actual answer for that, Vish. I used to run into that early in the, my modding days of this game. I think it may be mod related, but I think... I think... Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Hold the bus. Now, I'm gonna make a save after doing all that stuff. I think... I, I'm pretty sure it's mod-related. I think that if you open the console... I used to get out of it by doing SLM 14, which opens up the looks menu. Menu. And then backing out of that, it would always kick me out. Yeah, I don't... I, I think I mean right. I don't think it's a vanilla thing. Oh, shit. Oh, you know who this might be? These might be the... I think that's actually a friendly assault tron. It is. That's that's one of the Merc squads from NPC's Travel. They're taking out those raiders over here. Yep. Actually, let's... Let's go see if we can't get rid of these... I actually was thinking about clearing this area out over here. How many times... How, how often do you meet a friendly, uh, a friendly assault tron? Hang on a second. Can I, I okay, I apparently I can't shoot over that. We have a mesh stake. Let's go help these uh help these individuals out here. I think I used to get that with um Armor Smith Extended back when I used that back in the day. But I always did the SLM 14 and the console. And that always kicked me out. Yeah, 
Evans White Cult. Is everybody dead? B1 Polar Bear. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. It's been so long since I played vanilla, though. I was actually watching uh, someone this morning do a their first vanilla survival permadeath run. First time playing vanilla since uh, the game came out, pretty much. And wow. <laughs> Probably one of the clothing mods since you added crafting keywords to them. That that I don't know what causes it, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's mod related. All right. And I think everybody's dead. I think all the raiders are, are quite the deads. Which is fine. As Boone would say, fine by me. So the assault run and those uh, NPCs with the minigun are from NPCs Travel. It's one of the Merc squads. Ultralight, you know, we'll take. Oh! I think I just found my new favorite armor piece. Deep pocketed painted robot chest piece. Yes, please. I'm going to take that right over to the workbench now. And turn that invisible. So I can wear it. Because again, this is a no crafting run. The only... Oh, short laser plasma. Uh, the only crafting uh, for armor I'm allowed to do is cosmetic. And no magically MacGyvering things into existence. More plasma cartridges. Yes, please. Specific reason why I haven't seen an official patch in Boston FPS in the mod list? Ah, uh, they're both highly overrated, to be honest. You, there's absolutely no need for you to use the FPS fix if you're not using mods that break pre-combines. And I don't use mods that break pre-combines. And if you're using mods that break pre-combines, just using another mod to fix that stuff... You just should just not use those mods to start with. That's that's my personal opinion. And the in the official patch causes more problems than it worth. The more mods you have, exponentially increases the the number of conflicts you're going to have. And there's absolutely nothing in the in the unofficial patch that fixes things that I've run into or considered to be issues. So that's why. If, if you're not using mods that break pre-combines, there's absolutely no reason for you to use the so-called FPS fix. Because all it does is replace um, vanilla optimization data. Wow. And if it's that not broken in the first happen. place, there's no need to fix it. That's how you turn it invisible. Oh, right there. Uh, armor, armor and clothing overhaul. Kind of does a lot what um, Armor Smith Extended does without the bloat. So I can turn my, my armor invisible. All the armor I'm currently wearing is invisible. So I can wear it over uh, over the vault suit and not have it clip. Which is exactly what we're going to do right now. Yeah, if you're using like a lightly modded game or vanilla, I see absolutely no reason why you shouldn't use the unofficial patch. But the more mods you have, like I got pushing 250 plugins right now. The more mods you have, it will increase the chances that you're going to have a conflict and problem. So, things that the unofficial patch changes, either A, I prefer to fix myself, or B, there's other mods that fix some of those things, but without the bloat. As I, I, I think it makes a lot of changes that um, are kind of the personal preference of the mod authors of that team and not necessarily something I would want. Now, where'd Kate go? Where, where the hell did Kate go? Kate! Kate, darling. What do you have for a chess piece here? Yeah? This is my favorite part of the job. Beelzebub, how you doing? And the other problem with the FPS fix is if you are using uh, mods that um, rebuild their pre-combines, where you're going to get all kinds of conflicts. It's um To me, it's like a placebo thing. I'm sure it does what it does very well, but if they're not broke, there's no reason to fix them. Hey, Crunch, how's it going? Pop in to say hi, hoping to have a great stream. May you have many runs. Crunch does not want to miss them. Oh, may you have no runs. Well, just for you, Crunch, I'll have all the runs. I hope you're doing well, man. Um, yeah, she, she didn't have a pocketed... I want to give her that pocketed chest piece that I was wearing. And we'll take that. 
Happy Saturday, Crunch. We're going to get Nick Valentine, so anything's possible. I have actually been rounding there uh, during my test playthrough, so. All right, Crunch, you take care, man. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Okay. Now, I don't get... I, I certainly will not tell anyone to not use those mods, but... That's just my philosophy as to why I don't use them. Oh, Beelzebub, thank you very much for that follow. I appreciate that. You know what? Let's do this. I'm actually going to take some of these things that I'll never use. Since, since Ellie is right down the street, some of this Raider stuff. Let's go sell this to Ellie. Some of this stuff here. Uh, I think what that will put in there. Yeah, let's go sell some of this stuff to Ellie. Oh, crap. Oh, I get some, uh... She actually has purified water in there, too. I can get that. Okay. And we'll get rid of... You know what? We'll put that stuff in there. All right, let's go. Before we uh, head down towards Pack Street Station, let's go uh, say hi to Ellie and sell some stuff. And I'll fill up those bottles. Is it normal your courier stations mod, archive, overwrites your rescue workshop mod, and your red rocket map mod? It's because you included the courier. I have no idea what you mean. They may use the same textures, but that would be they certainly don't overwrite each other. I don't really know what you mean. They may use the same textures, if that's what you're asking. Uh, where's Ellie? There she is. Well, this is refreshing. You look like an actual paying customer. Um, give me one second. Looks like we got, uh, as Uncle Lander would say, a Roger Roger. Hang on a second. Yes, we have a Roger Roger episode. Give me one second. Let me do the thing here. Where is that? Give me one second. All right, I'm gonna hit the little little thingy here. Yeah, we had, we got we got a bot attack. We got botted. I want to rectify that. Just give me one second. Sorry about this. But, you know, this is what happens. There we go. Problem solved. All right, Ellie. It's no Radiant Raymond, but at least you don't get bitchy service. I love that line. <laughs> I fucking love that line. Um, all right, we're gonna sell this stuff. I keep forgetting I have fashionable glasses. I should probably start wearing those. All right, the Raider armor. And yeah, the the raw meat. I'm probably gonna just sell raw meat from animals and whatnot because since I'm not allowed to cook it. Although the mole rat mole rat meat. I am keeping that because I will be allowed to use it. I'm, I'm, I'm making that stipulation right now. The Mole Rat Wonder Meat Maker, the underground hideout, I reserve the right to use that. So I need Mole Rat, mole rat Meat for that. I need adhesive too. Oh, I meant to give those pencils to Doge Meat. Because we got to save those for Heather. Is that everything that I was going to give to her? Yes, I think it is. I believe it is. Okay. Um. All right. Hey, Nye. We were talking about you, Nye. We were talking about you. How you doing, Nye? It's good to see you. Yeah, I, I, I dropped a link to your GoFundMe this uh, a, a little while ago. Um, just give me one second here. I'm gonna poke at something else here. Get back to the other 
tab on the other screen. But welcome, Nye. How you doing? Yeah, we were talking about you and your mods and... Your, 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 your ears must have been burning. <laughs> but I hope you're doing well. Oh, I should have saved before we left. Oops. Okay. I'm going to save right now, then. I usually try and save before I come out in the, from an interior cell. Because, you know, it's Fallout 4. Something's going over at the Dartsmith building, but we don't care. We have to go find Nick. You should get inside the city. No, we're leaving the city. We're leaving the city. We have to go find Mr. Valentine. Fox White, thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. There we go. Doing well, just ate lunch. Gonna watch you a while and attempt to work work on a thing. Alright, well, good luck with that thing. I'm glad to see you back up and at it. On the thing. Alright. Yeah, we're just on our way down to uh, Pock Street Station. to find someone named Nick Valentine, who may or may not have information on this Kellogg that can get us into the Institute. Did I get the stuff out of here yet? I did. Okay. So we still have to go into um, Huber's Comics. We still have to say hello to Swan at some point. And I still... Oh, was I going to go over to... You know what? Let's go over to Good Neighbor first while we're here. Uh, I'm going to leave that stuff there for now. I was thinking just pop it in the Good Neighbor. And check in with Cleo and Daisy and see if their inventory is responding and see if they have any more ammunition for me. I hear something going on over this way. And then we'll go, uh, then we'll go to Park Street. Every time I, I think Park Street Station, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Boston and ridden the T. But Park Street's a real station. It's on the red line. And it's an interchange between, I want to say the red line and green line? I think it's the red line and the green line. And you, you hear on the intercom, Pock Street, change for the red line. Is this art and art, maybe? It is. It's art and art. Well, now. This is, it is the red and green. That's what I thought. Because I take the green in from Riverside. You could walk down this street, and you didn't have to worry about a mutie trying to bag you for dinner. No, you just have to worry about two, two individuals looking exactly like one another shooting, uh, Okay, they're uh, not wanting to talk. Think a Commonwealth boy's gonna give up that easy? Okay, well, well we're just gonna let them uh, work this out amongst themselves. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll run into them again at some point. We'll just work it work it out amongst yourselves. I don't want to be involved. I I always say before going into Good Neighbor too, because the game has a tendency to um go boom, changing world spaces, so. Diamond City and Good Neighbor, I generally try and make saves entering and leaving. Because weather, weather differences can sometimes make the game go boom. And sometimes it goes boom just because it wants to. Even in vanilla, it's a thing. Something about the changes in the world space uh, and the weather settings. Um, all right, let's call it to Wanna Cleo. Something? Welcome Every home. weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Yeah, I'll have to give the, uh, give a little look-see at that. Anaire is the author of the Good Neighbor Overhaul mod that I'm using with the wonderful little apartment. Let's get you outfitted, killer. I get crashes, most of teleporting for the first time with alternate star. So I, I don't really fast travel very much. Even though I have it enabled, only if I'm an idiot and forget something on the other side of the map. But I almost, I would say a good three quarters of the time, my very first time in a, in a new playthrough coming into the Good Neighbor, the game crashes. And it seems to be 
repeatable that if the if there's weather, like if it's cloudy or if there's a windstorm or, or fog or anything, I will crash going into Good Neighbor. It's or leaving an interior cell in Diamond City and going back into the market. 100% repeatable most of the time. If I clear the weather with the console command, it just works. So. All right, so you have some... Yeah, we're going to get some 5.56 five, from you and Plasma. Oh, yes, Cleo. Cleo, you are amazing. I will take those. Probably should could have bought... Oh, do my companions have anything? The only thing that should go boom is the base. Hey. Oh, boy. Hey. Kate. No, that's not Kate. They got... Oh Let's boy. do it. I'm already confusing my companions. Oh, shit. I was going to put this stuff on the APC. God damn it. All right. Well, I guess Heather's stuck with that. I was going to put that stuff on the APC. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. She's stuck with it. Oh, I got to talk to her, too. I... Uh, um... Yeah, when I was doing the Diamond City testing what this morning, this? she has new dialogue. Aw, and here I thought you wanted to snuggle. At least it's not raining. Okay, Kate has nothing. Did the dog have anything? Okay, he has the pencils and he still has that. Alright. So I have to talk to Heather. Okay. Um, Heather. Hey, partner. Uh, what's on your mind? I've been feeling so good lately. I think it's all those noodles you've been giving me. What happened to your lip files? All right, she has a uh, she plus 25 carry weight bonus for Heather. Nice. Um, what else is on your mind? Stay sharp if you spot a kid. Lots of them are rotten little scam artists. They'll take you for all they can get. Uh, yeah, j j just like, just like, you know, are you talking about maybe, maybe a little ghoul kid stuck in a fridge for 200 years? You couldn't possibly be talking about a kid like that. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. There's this guy named Pikmin running around the Commonwealth killing raiders. People say he's got a place in Boston. Okay. Yeah, when you, uh, go get Billy out of the fridge, you have Heather with you, she'll actually comment that Billy's a little scam artist, and it's true. Billy does not need your help to get out of the fridge. If you walk if you get walk near the fridge but don't actually talk to Billy but the quest starts, you come back later on and Billy's standing outside the fridge with the door open. So Billy can extract himself from the fridge. He does not need your help. He is a little scam artist. Super mutants weren't made by the bombs. You know, like Radstags were? Turns out, someone did it to them on purpose. They used to be people, like us. Hmm. I guess that's it. So she got a uh, carry weight bonus from all those noodles I gave her. No problem. Nice. So this is Nyre's oh good neighbor overhaul. It's, uh, Smell it's, that? I think it's awesome. That's freedom. That's freedom, yes. So you've got a little shack here. And back this way. I, I just, I just like the light touch of it. It's not... It's not overbearing. It's exactly what it needs to be. They Trying have to stay on some crops behavior. over here. The storage area over here. Another place that people can sleep and get out of the rain. Another little area up here for people to get in a little shelter. Some more shelter over here. But my one of my favorite things, Billy is such a scammer, is Doc Sherry. There's a doctor and good neighbor now. And she's not by the front door to force greet you. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. Um, let me see if she has any blood packs. Let's see what I can spare. Um, uh, she. Oh, I bought her blood packs the last time. Yep. Yeah, there's another overhaul mod that I was using the last playthrough. It's great, but I think it was a little too heavy-handed on some of the changes that things it added. And the doctor was right at the front door. So every time you came in, it's like literally you thought. Been for screeded you quickly. This doctor was um, guilty of that as well. It's a great mod, but I like Nyes. Because Dr. Sherry just stays in her office, does her thing. And it's also got this wonderful player home that I actually want to go and check out.
And this is my good neighbor place. Mod compatible with the condo? It is not. You would have to patch that. I'll show you. I'll show you uh, the location where the condo is. But yep, I don't know where Heather went, but we'll find Heather. But yeah, you've got all, everything you need. You got cooking station, crafting stations. You got a sink. Does that mean F Billy's family is in the scam too? That's a very good question, Jaybird. I I would say probably yes. I would say yes. It's all it's all a scam. Uh, I have some things here. I think I'm going to leave this stuff here for now. Oh, I have a load of textures, Emmy. I have, I think my texture archives are now around 8 gigs worth of just textures. And I'm adding more all the time. Yeah, I, I retexture pretty much everything. Oh, there's Heather. And I actually... Um, Re try and retexture things to make it look more like the old school games, like Free in New Vegas. Like I, I, I did a retexture for the Foot Lockers to make them look like, um, like the old metal ones. Oh, there we go. What I tell you, the game crashed and there's weather, and I didn't save. I didn't save. There we go. What I tell you. Emmy Knightley just resubscribed. And that uh, sometimes, yep. It there we go. Just work. <laughs> I told you, I told you. So, Speed Geezer, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Emmy. How you doing, Speed Geezer? I appreciate that, Speed. Speed Geezer. What did I tell you? We had rain and good neighbor, and the game crash. Go figure. The gift sub crash. Yes. Ah. Uh, all right. So it was right before we went in. That's fine. That's fine, though. We'll just. Actually, I'm just going to go in, get the things, and leave. But yeah, that was Nairay's apartment. And what I was saying, Emmy, is I, I actually just came out with last uh, last Sunday I posted it. I retextured the um, Tales of a Jer Junk Town Jerky Vendor magazines for the old school. Because I, I retexture everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll get to that in a minute, Whiskey. Thanks. Uh, I want to get my game loaded back up here. But, yeah, I, I retexture. I have textures for everything, including a Wasteland Survival Guide. Um, I have a re I, I didn't do this, but I hate the new... I hate the Fallout 4 one, so somebody redid the classic old-school one, so I got those. And I put this out last week. Uh, each magazine has a different color, but it's the old Fallout 3 style for the skill books. Remember skills, right? You remember skills? When we had skills? Um... But yeah, that's what happens when you try to enter Good Neighbor Diamond City when there's weather. The game goes boom. Speed Geezer, you mentioned yesterday, uh, number one, I hope you're doing well. You mentioned at the end of the stream yesterday that you had that um, issue with um, NPCs in Diamond City going arg and err and taking random damage. Um, Eric, how you doing? How the hell are you? Looky, looky this fella here. How's it going, Eric? Hang on a second. I'm going to give Eric the shout-outs. Uh, Speakeaser, I long story short, I believe that issue is tied to there being a holiday. So my question to you was, when you had that bug, was it in fact a holiday for you? Was it Christmas or the Halloweenies? Because that's a, a thing. To stay? Try Hotel Rexford. I hope you're buying... Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons. How's it going, Eric? It's good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Alright, I'm just gonna buy her uh 556 and her plasma. And I don't think I had anything to sell to her. But yeah, that's why it's always a good idea to save um traversing into in and out of the world spaces like that. Because now we got rain. Um, Alright, where's the dog again? Where'd Kate go? But yeah, Speed Geezer. I did some research last night on, on that, uh, that their issue with the NPCs. And turns out it's a vanilla bug tied to it being a holiday. Yeah. Um, it What happens is it triggers during the holiday if you go into one of the interior cells in Diamond City... 
and come back out is what kicks it off because it didn't it happened when exactly the moment we loaded back in after leaving public occurrences and that's when it all started so i reloaded the save and it didn't do it and everybody was fine so i went back in and talked to ellie perkins and got the unlikely valentine quest going i came out and two of the guards were starting to do it so that's when I, I, I found the information on, yeah, it seems to be a, a vanilla bug tied to the holidays. Don't know why. I went back to home plate, slept for a full 24 hours, and that seemed to, fingers crossed, get rid of it. So there's actually, there's actually, and I, the other thing too is there's a mod, I don't know if you have this mod or if you're using uh, any Creation Club content. There's a Creation Club thing and a mod that extends the holiday time to be a full month. At least at least I know the mod does. Instead of just the one day for the full month. And people that use that mod, yeah, all their NPCs die. Because they take the damage. Um, we lost Heather. Alright, we're gonna cast Summon Heather. Summon Heather has been cast. There she is. So yeah, if um if that's why I was wondering if you remembered offhand if it was a holiday for you or not in game because it was it was Halloween for us and it and that's that's when it started but yeah there's lots of reports of it on the Googles and it seems to be tied to the holiday the, the two holiday events which is extremely weird all right so I'm gonna hold off getting the magazine over there because of the rads I'm gonna wait until I actually get a um, a hazmat suit and then I'll go back and get those all right so I'm going to switch over to the Infiltrator here. Let's go get Nick. The Pirate Holiday, yes. The Pirate, Talk Like a Pirate Day is over in, in uh, Diamond City, hopefully. I almost said Ribbit City again. But yeah, I think I, I, I don't know if you were still there for that, Jinja, but we had a little issue last night. With the NPCs taking random damage, randomly. And talking like they were going, Arr, arr, arr. It was weird. Yep. All right. Do I have my frags favorited, and not the Molotovs? Okay, I do. How come they're not talking? They're usually talking about Darla when I come down here. There is no speak. It was talk like yes. It was definitely talk like a pirate day. Hey, Uru, how you doing? They're usually talking about Darla when you come down here. Hmm. Let's say hello the proper way. Put the time to whoa, dance. whoa. You hear that? Come on. Got the drop on us. All right, we're gonna go back up here. Oh, you, I, I agree, Emmy. Uh, I love going into a Raiders, like going into Backstreet Apparel and listen to the Raiders. Go get him, Heather. Heather, you have a minigun. There you go. It's the two Raiders talking in Backstreet Apparel the first time you go in. Get him, Heather. Get him, Doge. You really say interesting things when they're not just killed instantly. Yes. Yes. And then if you go, there's, there's, a, I'm sure it's other places, but there's, um, Ammo, there's a caps, parking garage. It's over by Huber's Comics share. between the library and Huber's Comics. There's that underground parking garage. Two raiders in there. And if you listen to them have a conversation, there's, there's one, they talk about, maybe they These even do it in other places in too. My ass. They, um, talk about some guy running down the street naked, making sounds like a motorcycle. And hey, he was only carrying a desk fan. He's like, what kind of idiot carries around a desk fan? It's great. Oh, novice lock bobby pin. 
Now I gotta find some novice terminals for Heather to hack, too. Bottle? Woodabun bottle. Oh! Okay. Oh. I think I remember when I was working on one of my mods, uh, the, um, that's uh, the mod that I don't even have out yet, it's not finished. There's, um, there's actually keywords that you can put on a location for the raiders to do that kind of dialogue. So it's not, it's it's kind of scripted, but if you have raiders in a cell and you put the certain keyword, I think it's like, I actually think it's called like raider dialogue or something like that. Then they will randomly uh, generate that dialogue. And there's also location base. So they'll talk about different various parts of the game map, depending on which, which keywords you add. It's pretty cool actually. I don't think there's really anything in here, but... We'll have to show coconuts uh, trash can textures again, because they're so awesome. Hmm, oh, I'll take the bubblegum. Since I'm not cooking, and bubblegum actually heals, why not? It actually counts as food. Remember one of the No One Lives Forever games, the henchmen had some hilarious conversations when snuck around them. I don't remember, I don't know if I've ever played those. Alright, so until I hit this little trigger over here, there's a trigger box over here. Until I hit that. Oh, actually it's right over here, never mind. Yeah, the, um, the guys downstairs don't actually spawn until you hit a trigger. I guess I already went through. I thought it was at the top of the stairs. But... Rats, making me jumpy. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's back over here. Which is why if you play Frost, you come in from downtown. There's nobody here, but the minute you come upstairs and go back down, the place is filled with survivors that want to kill you to death. Craft Nuka Cola and Vim products? No. Nope. I never do that anyway. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Even in a normal game, I never craft that stuff. Oh no, you don't. Oh shit. Alright, they're I can't even see them. I can't see where the hell they are. Well, Heather has a minigun. Is that it? Yay. Could not see where they are. That's that's one of the downsides of not having stuff with recon scopes. Actually, I forgot. I got the infiltrator now. That has a recon scope. Hey, Hussy, how you doing? Yeah, that was actually Akak's minigun. I told her to uh, pick up all the stuff off of Akak, and she took it upon herself to try out that minigun. And she loves it. How you doing? Another teddy bear. Give, trying to give the teddy bears a home, too. Let's see, duct tape. I will sell the duct tape. We don't need any of the other stuff. Bought a car, doing nothing all week, and we ordered parts for it. Oh, cool! I am doing well. 
Just playing some more of this goofy game. Bruh. Heading over to get Mr. Valentine. Out of, out of his, um... His indentured servitude to the Triggerman. I don't need that. But you have some microfusion cells. Automatic laser. Where's, um... Yeah, I forgot to empty Heather's inventory, so... Kate! What is it? Why don't you grab this stuff for this guy? Uh, I'll take the food. You know what? Why don't you take this stuff too, Kate? I know we got a long way to go, though. Yeah. I'm on it, Captain. Take the gun and sell it, though. Yeah, Nick's having a sleepover with Skinny Malone. Pretty much. I don't need no stinking paintbrush. Oh, whiskey. I was going to say, the only thing for the Nuka Cola stuff I usually craft, and I didn't really start it until my last playthrough, was the Nuka Grape for the rad removal. But because I'm using a mod that adds all that DLC stuff to the leveled list, it, well, there's a chance that stuff will spawn naturally, so. So even if I were going to craft it, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. Hey, I got another stealth boy. That reminds me. Heather, how about you loot what's in that safe? On it. Oh, you got Got another one. For those of you guys who haven't seen the special lockets in my game, I feel I feel compelled to share the glory of the Todd kit. I feel compelled to share this with the world. For those of you who have not seen it, the very special lockets in my game. Um, anything here? Heather, Heather, you didn't take the shit. What you need, and I'll get right on it. Will Kate take that stuff? Will do. Or do I have to get it? Come on, Kate. You wanted to ask something? No, I want. Oh, forget it. No problem. Forget it. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I'll carry it my own damn self. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in your head again. Damn Nuka Cola song stuck in your head again. It happens. Happens to the best of us, Jaybird. Alright. This isn't locked, is it? It's not. I, I need to start finding terminals that that Heather can lo unlock. Blake Abernathy's deceased daughter's true love in that locket. That was my intent, Jinja. That was actually my intent. Um, and I, I mentioned it last night. When I did the texture, I didn't realize there's two different um, locket textures. There's one for the generic lockers, and there's one for the Abernathy locket. Did I say locker? Locket. There's one for the quest item. But I ended up doing the wrong one. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I'll just do the other one. And I never took the original one out, so now they all have it. But I'm fine with that. It's... It's fine. Embrace the glory of the Todd. The retexture of the hat for Heather? No, the hat for Heather is actually from the Capital Wasteland team's New Vegas Gecko mod, of all things. It looks just like Cass's hat in New Vegas, because it kind of is. Uh, but I'm, I've removed the Gecko spawns. Uh, it's just the outfit, so it's the hat and actually the, the outfit that Kate's wearing. The old school uh, Fallout 3 leather armor is from that. But I didn't think that geckos would fit well into a Fallout 3 playthrough, so. It's just the clothes. So technically, that's. Technically, I think Mad Dog said that she should be Heather Castin with that hat. I never saw Death Jaw sleeping before, Lilac. Never. Not once. Never saw Death Jaw sleeping before. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. We'll have to bring McCready there again. See if he does it. Alright, so I want to see... 
Since I do have the infiltrator. So there's that. Picking him up. Oh, there's another one there. Let's see if I can't knock them down with the victory rifle. He comes back. Would like to have painted the other guy there, but I don't know where the hell he went. Oh, somebody has a laser rifle. Something dangerous. Uh, knocked him down. Knocked him down for good that time. I did take broad shoulders. Yep. I Quit took. Games and come out nice me. job, Heather. I took gifted broad soldier, broad shoulders, and trigger discipline. Hold up. You hear that? I keep forgetting I got this puppy that I want to use. I always take gifted, so I get the um, the debuff for the XP. I don't like leveling up too fast. And this game hands out XP like candy. Oh, I'm going to go back and get that quantum. Hang on a minute. I forgot to get the quantum. Actually, no, I want this. I don't need that. Where did they disappear so, to? Wonder what kind of evil shenanigans Vault Tech got up to in here. I wonder. I wonder indeed. She may not carry anything else. On it. Too much XP with even Oh no, Vish, I'm actually using the XP reductions from Thrive. That's that's what I'm using. But um yeah, I like taking gifted because it, it has those. So, actually, yes, yes, the changes that Thrive makes are now half with the gifted perk. But it's a trade-off because I get the two, um, the two points added to all my special skills. And I'm okay with that. And, and Thrive also removes all the XP for crafting. Because why should you get XP for boiling water and uh, building picture frames in a settlement? That's kind of goofy. Right, we're going to save here. Because there's a little issue with this gun sometimes. I may have to switch it. Well, people play the game they want to play it. Darla? You know, whatever, whatever, how you want to play your game, that's how you should play your game. But personally, I, I don't, I don't. This game doesn't have enough content for me to play triple digits. I, I, I reached triple digit level once. Nothing. Nothing. Not freaking seeing things. And it was the actually my one and only Institute playthrough. It was my last pre-survival mode playthrough. I got like to level 140 and I just got so bored. Yep, okay, oh, that's it, I'm done. What? But people play the way they want to play and there's not a damn thing wrong with it. Okay. I mean, my last playthrough that we finished, the rare playthrough, we finished the game at level 67. I went and did every. I, I did basically did all the side quests. The only faction quests I did, obviously, the Minutemen, because who are they? And the Brotherhood. But we did all the side quests, we did all the DLC, all the quests and all the DLC. Well, except Vault Tech. We didn't. Again, that's not a DLC. It's it's a settlement mod. Um, but level 67. 250 hour playthrough, level 67 is what I added. Or what I ended up the game uh, at, so. Huh? You play it the way you want to play it. So I want to take his ammunition. Where's my carry weight here? Yeah, I'm getting a little, uh, little up there. Ever notice how dog meat's weight stat is a negative number? Tried rebalancing his carrying weight, but don't understand how it scales. I don't know how that does. I do know that that's, um, that's a thing. 
that some mods that modify him have an issue with. But I have no idea how any of that works either. He's he's kind of special. But I'm actually I'm going to switch guns here because this is uh, the place where I should be switching guns. I have a problem with uh, the 10 millimeter SMG. If I go down, it's 100% repeatable for me. I go down with this gun equipped, lob a grenade at the two um, trigger men in that hallway, my hotkeys break. Hotkeys, my favorite keys for my guns, they break. Even the L that I use to change um, from first to third person, a lot of my uh, favorite keys break. I'm actually going to save here. And I either have to go to a weapon workbench, which I, I don't believe there is one here, or I have to reload an earlier save. Something about the animation in that gun, I don't know what it is, but 100% repeatable. Hey, Deckard, how you doing? Watching all the different ways people play this game has given me a new appreciation for it. Exactly, Speed Geezer. Couldn't have said it better. I play, the way I play is different than the way you play and the next person plays. So I got a question. But that's what's awesome about it. Why the hell would it? anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like... This is another conversation that's worth listening to. Because they were planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Hmm. Hey, Jim, how you doing? You've had that issue with other weapons? A hollow... Yes. Yes. I had it. It's always with modded weapons. I'll hang on a second here. Let's say hello to them. Did it? So if I had if I had the SMG equipped, I wouldn't be able to do this. It's 100% repeatable. Hey, Rocket Boy, how you doing? On a short break from cleaning the house. Well, that is definitely more important than this. How you doing? That's what I should be doing. I really should be cleaning my house instead of playing video games on the internet. It's good to see you. I hope the cleaning goes well. Yeah, I think the first issue I ran into the hotkey thing was with was with that um, uh, the grease gun submachine gun mod, like the one from New Vegas. I think that was the, the first gun mod. I don't know what something about the animations. That's all I can think. All right, we're, we're going to make another save here real quick. Before we go in here. Um, I'm going to make a save. And I'm going to take some chems, because Kate will like it when I take chems. But it doesn't really matter, because we're basically maxed out with affinity with her until I complete her companion quest. And the incentive to complete her quest is because I'm um, using Be Exceptional. Once you reach max affinity with a companion, and you travel with them, you get all the buffs from Lone Wanderer. So it's definitely worthwhile to travel with a companion that you got max affinity with. I really wish it was like New Vegas, where you have to travel with a companion to get their perk. That's kind of how I think it should be, but you know, <gasps> keep it simple, cells, stupid. It'd be nice if you'd share. Oh, see. I got to use the chems with her around while I can. All right. I want to shoot some things and then try and catch up on the chat. There's you. Who? Probably want to get back behind some cover here. If I find you, you're going to regret it. Who's there? Who's there? Did I just get tapeworm, Deckard? I didn't even look. I was too busy trying not to die. Because Crunch had to leave, and, I, and he said not to have any Rons. <laughs> Very good impression there, Coconut. Very good. Oh, there you are. Don't you die on me. Up. 
Don't you die on me, said the raider to his friend that exploded all over into him with a bloody mess per. Don't you die on me! Hmm. I'll take that. APC fuel. Hmm. Oh, you have... That's oh, a rattle. Why do you have a baby rattle? Why does a triggerman have a baby rattle? It is all in the inflection. Ah, I got freaking parasites. How about that? Well, I'm not going to wait till I go to a doctor. I do have, um... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's hold off on the antibiotics for now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we were talking about the Raider conversations earlier. And if you just don't barge in and kill them right away, they actually have some cool stuff that they talk about. Alright, let's have a nuke cherry. And I'm not addicted. Now I'm hungry. Okay. I have some food to eat up anyway, so I'm not too worried about the, uh, the parasites. I'll probably wait till... You know, when we get done here, we're not going to be, uh... I'm not going to be going right back to Diamond City. I'm not going to tell Nick that right away, but... Uh, we can head back over to Good Neighbor and see Doc Sherry. Alright, let's drop down. I, I might have actually missed a couple Red things. Oh! You were saying? I'll take all the nuclear materials for my APC. And the bobby pins. No bobby pins. There's some water down here. Am I thinking of someplace else? Another silver locket. We'll, we'll hold off on that. We have quite the number of Todd lockets for now. I think they nailed the Raider behavior in this game. Just wish they had more variation like the gangs in New Vegas. Yeah. But I'm using the um, the Capital Wasteland, uh, the Raider pack. So it brings back a lot of the old Raider armors. They look like Raiders now. It adds in some of the goofy hairstyles and, and the colors. It's freaking awesome. I knew there was a water variety somewhere. Early on, some of them talk about joining other gangs. Yes, I was actually there. I was mentioning earlier. There's there's keywords that you can apply to a, a location in a cell that will designate which conversations they have based on the location there, of the cell. It's a pretty hungry? cool system. Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing. You got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I I, I gotta smooth this over. Fair. Oh, I'll find you. I'll find you. Alright, before we go and talk to Nick, is there... I usually... There's usually duct tape in this. Duct tape is good to sell. I'm finding that, um... Pocket watch. That the hey, cigar you. boxes... I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Okay. Get this door open! The, um... Cigar boxes. You gotta hack that terminal to open up this door. Okay, Nick. Cigar boxes have a very good resale value. So I've been looting those. Alright. Take a number. Override door controls. Valentine? 
Nice friends you got here. He Heather knows everyone. You gonna talk? Why'd you risk everything to find me? Just a private eye. Um, what are you exactly? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Yeah, you look just like those androids I saw down at University Point. Y you know, the, the place where the androids killed all the people? The one that Heather escaped from? Um, yeah, I need you to find someone, but it's, it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. But he might be my one and only ticket into the Institute. Named Kellogg, ring a bell? Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Frackin' toaster. Alright, follow Nick Valentine, but first... The speech bobblehead. All vendors permanently have 100 more caps for bartering. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's helpful. Here used to be small we'll take time. those. Just Must in case I want to listen to them. Coffee mug for Muggy. Pencil for Heather. What happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. All right, Nick, let's go. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Do your thing, Nick. Let's go. Oh, bobby pins. Wonder glue. Yes, please. I think there should be. Yes. Let's fill those up. It'll give me dirty water, but that's okay. Yeah, um, I think I forgot to fill those bottles up with purified water alley store, but that's all right. Some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Well, there's only really one way to play it, Nick. Hard and loud. Hey, Dino. I don't think we're alone. Over there. Get, him. Get him, Heather. Oh shit, I'm gonna die here. I'm not paying attention to Yep. You fought valiantly. But I was not hell. paying attention to what where my health was. Twisted and ruined too body late. goes down in a hail of bullets. Was not paying and thus attention. ends your life in the wasteland. Actually, that's probably a better place for those Molotovs. Because they didn't take hardly any damage. I overshot the grenades. Where the hell was my last save? I was not paying attention at all. Oh, Christ, we're way back here? Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Alright. Let's do it again. Do it again. Fucking kill! Those would be nice if you share. Do it again. Now where did everybody go? Well, that was pretty stupid of me. <sighs> My own damn fault. They got the drop on us. They got the drop on us. Where are you? Get him, Heather. Did he just get knocked out? No, he's actually dead. Now let's pay a little attention to the, uh... Oh, shit, that's Heather. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> Let's pay a little bit more attention to our health this time, shall we? Yeah, the tape... Yeah, it wasn't the bullets, it was the tapeworm. Yeah, there's at least one more over here. And we didn't lose that much. Well, Crunch is gonna be pissed he missed that. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me.
Alright. I actually do not need that. I didn't... No, you didn't have it in you. Wanna bet? Be careful what you wish for. You might you might get it. Another one with the with the friggin' baby rattle. At least I can get tapeworm this time. Did he go down below? He must be down below. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Take the foods. That's what they sounded like in Diamond City last night. We had that little issue. Look out, Kate darling. I need the bobby pins. Hey, at least this, it wasn't all bad. Last time I got no bobby pins. This time I got one. Alright, we're going to make a save here now. lose that much progress. Bobby no pins. <laughs> I'm gonna need some coffee once we get Nikki out of once we bust Nikki out of the joint. It's gonna be coffee time. Tell you these uh these vault textures make a hell of a big difference in this place. It looks like an actual vault now. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep <laughs> talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time I, I get it. How he's gonna Nick doesn't you eat. Off. Don't <laughs> he's being crap, funny. Valentine. You know nothing. You got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I... I, I gotta... Shit. Oh, he had a red skull. Ah, uh, we'll get this again. Why not? Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. I tell you, I really open. like how they frame the lighting. The first time you see Nick, he's kind of silhouetted against against the spotlight. You gotta hack that terminal to open up this. And door. you have no idea that he's a synth. It's fucking brilliant. You can just barely make out the eyes glowing. That's probably because of the mod that I have. But I just that introduction to him was so great. Oh boy, come on, game. All right, coconut. All right, we're gonna we're, we're stuck on the dog, I think. Like muck, talk, mu talk like muggy when I'm in front of the coffee maker. Why would you think that? How could you possibly think that? All right, override door controls. Do you have any coffee? No lock on my end. Valentine, nice friends you got here. You gonna talk? Why do you risk everything to find me? Just a private eye. Uh, yeah, I need you to help me find someone. Named Kellogg, perhaps? Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow, nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. 
Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Okay, yeah, and Ellie never, never mentions it. Alright, we got that again. Coffee mug Those for Muggy. We're gonna we're gonna definitely save again here too. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Uh, I think I'm gonna wanna try and get these used up. I might regret that, but perfect hideout. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Hold up, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Hard and loud, Nick. All right, we're making a save in case I things go horribly wrong. Hey, Dino, quit razzing. That went a little better. That definitely went a little better this time. Come on, Nick. Survival mode, my ass. What about your ass? This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. I wonder how many generations lived in here before they opened up the vault. Oh, and most got there they we were are. sorry when they got outside. Hell of a lot easier to do nice when the lock safe. isn't on the other side. Good job, Nick. Who's there? Who's there? That noise, what is it? Hey. Say hello. Huh? Goodbye. Couldn't take long. You take him, Nick. I'm going to get the magazine. Plus five action points. Yay. You and Valentine are both dead. Are you a man? One way to get the cool Stop thing. kicking my dog around. Ah, I actually just want that. Do not need the fork. Get him, Nick. I got nothing. Hey, Reaper, how you doing? How the hell are you? We'll take all this wonderful pre-war food in here, because it's delicious. Look at all this stuff. Anything else? Bottles. Yes, please. Mugs! Muggy's gonna... Ha oh, a clean coffee mug! Look at that! Muggy's gonna love that shit. Warming up dinner? Cool. Or w waiting for dinner to turn up. Oh, okay, cool. I think I, for a second, Monkey Brain thought it said warming up dinner. Who built this damn ball to uh, doing very well. Re about ready to rescue Mr. Nick here. Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Come on, Nick, get out of the way. Oh, 
underestimate us again. Hmm. Alright, Nick, where are we going? I can carry this. Yes, I can. You know what? We'll take that stuff. Where are we going, Nick? Come on, Nick. Do your thing. Skin him alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us. Name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another lot. Well, let's get some of these souvenirs. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Anything. Get ready for anything. All right. Nine charisma, right? I have nine charisma. Let's see. Oh, I have the um. I have my. I was gonna take some uh, alcohol, but I have my uh, fashionable glasses. Let's drop those on. I'm bring that up to ten. I usually try and talk Darla out of it. I think I'm gonna keep continue to do that. I don't always succeed, but uh, we're gonna give that a whirl here. Yeah, sometimes you can see um, random encounters. You'll see Darla or Skinny Malone out in the Commonwealth. The first time I saw Darla wandering around, it was northern end of the map up near um, oh, the bunker where you find Paladin Brandis. And I was just about going over to talk to her, and then she got killed by a random super mutant patrol. It was glorious. She died a glorious death. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? Do you have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! Then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this going to do with you, huh? Valentine must have brought you here to rub us all out. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what, darling? Listen to me. You got a good home to go back to. You don't want to throw it away with these thugs, do ya? I, I, I see where the, I've seen where this road goes. It doesn't end well. I, I, you're right. Kate disliked that. Doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla, where, where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. All right, Nick, let's go. Two. Three. Four. We'll get Nick a tracksuit next time around. Of course, uh, Kate and, and Heather just kind of wait until nine before they start moving. Did you No, we got everything from you. All right, there's Heather. There's Nick. Let me guess. Kate's going to come strolling out. Come on, Nick. This way, Nick. You can do it. The AI package kick in. There you go, buddy. Where's Kate? Kate going to come strolling out? Nope, they're shooting at Kate. <laughs> they're shooting Kate. Uh-oh. I hope she makes it. 
going to make a save here. Kate hung out, and they started shooting at her. Hopefully she'll follow me out. Fingers crossed. Okay, where's, um, there's Heather. Yeah, Kate's still down there. Ah, look at that. I'm going to reload. Let's go back and get Kate. <laughs> we'll go back and get Kate. She didn't follow me out. She's otherwise engaged. I thought maybe she'd uh, show up, but come on, dog meat. Oh, there's Heather. Yeah, there's Heather. Or did Kate already clean up? Yeah. yeah. She's in trouble. Oh shit, you got a radium rifle or something there. Christ. Got him. Nice job. Alright, we gotta heal the doge. Kate should get up on her own. She has her own stim packs. There she goes. Okay. Well, we tried. We tried to do this third. Yeah, he had a radium rifle. I just got taking the. I got rid of those rads too. Hmm. So would they give me minor radiation poisoning? Yeah, minus one strength. All right, we'll be we'll be going to Doctor Sherry again for sure. That's what happens, Kate. That's what the chems will do to you. Jet makes you jittery, cycle makes you slow. Let's try this again, shall we? Anything so naturally Ooh, yeah. could end up looking Looks so awesome. inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Uh, your secretary, Ellie, she sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. You absolutely I want should. You to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. All right, I'll meet you there, Nick. I have some other things to do, although it's very important that we find this Kellogg guy. But um, I will definitely meet you there when I'm done with my other stuff. See you in Diamond City. Okay. All right. So I should have the uh, decoration when we go to get Underground Hideout opened up, which is what we're going to do next. Oh, boy, it's dark. Right now, we're going to go to Good Neighbor. We're going to head to Good Neighbor, get some sleep in our wonderful apartment, See the doctor in the morning, and then we're going to go get a player home. We're in dire need of a big, sprawling, underground hideout. Now let's head back. See what's happening in the good neighbors. Ah, yes, the sound... Ah, the combat zone. I need a fucking drink. I don't know if you guys heard that, Raider. I need fucking coffee. I'm gonna get inside to the, uh, to the apartment. It's gonna be break time. So we rescued Nick. And there was much rejoicing. Alright. Yeah, after, uh, after the break, we'll head north. Oh, we do have to get up north anyway for Jack Cabot. I wonder if maybe I should kind of combine that stuff. We'll see. I do need to get up to, um, to Parsons. But maybe we'll wait on that. We'll see what happens. I desperately need some coffee here, so. And we've been going for two hours. Oh my god, two hours and no break? 
That's crazy talk. Let's see, uh... Let's see. Heather should have some things. Valentine should be able to help find the guy I'm after. I don't really trust him, but he's the best chance I've got. I, I, I want him to find the guy I'm after, too. Wouldn't it be a coincidence if they were the same person? I've been feeling so good lately. I think it's all those noodles you've been giving me. Okay, I thought we did this already. Stay sharp if you spot a kid. Lots of them are rotten little scam artists. Oh, we didn't. They'll well, take we did. all they can get. Yeah, we did. We went through this already, but then the game crashed. There's this guy named Pikmin running around the Commonwealth killing raiders. People say he's got a place in Boston. Okay. Yeah, we, we actually met Mr. Pikmin. And yes, he's still killing raiders in Super Boston. Super mutants weren't made by the bombs. You know, like rad stakes were. Turns out, someone did it to them on purpose. They used to be people. Like us. Not quite like us. No worries. You as disappointed and skinny as I was? Valentine made him sound as fat as a pregnant Yaogwai. <laughs> no worries. Oh, I freaking love her dialogue. Hey. Oh, come on, Heather. No worries. I just want to trade. Let's do it. Alright, I know I have stuff to sell to both Daisy and um, Cleo, so... Yeah, you're going to hang on to that stuff. We'll take... You know, why don't you keep all of that stuff, actually? Bowler hat, I, I want to hang on to that for Codsworth. Whenever we get... Uh, getting him. Take those. Alright. You might want to think about dropping some of that crap. Where did you go, Kate? Oh, you're over here? Alright, we'll sell this stuff to Daisy first, then I'll grab it from Kate. It means a lot to me that you made the library a safer place. Thanks again. Now you're here to trade. Uh, let me see what you have, Daisy. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna sell those into the fusion core. Take my last Molotov. I did want to hang on to that. Hmm. Give me a couple of those. We'll keep the other ones as souvenirs. Oh, let's see. Cigarettes. Now, oh, 12 duct tapes. You can have that. Gears. Now, I need springs. I need springs for those robot repair kits. It's one of the few things I'm allowed to craft. Hey, look at this. I got springs. Yay. What else here? A lot of bottles. I'm going to hang on to this. Might leave some of this stuff here at the apartment. Oh, you got the workbench problem fixed? Cool, Vish. What'd you end up doing? Was it console command or did you fix it with um, load order or... How'd you figure out, uh... What'd you get to work? Just curious. In case anybody else runs into that. Uh, you know what? I'm good for those. Plasma. We need your plasma. Okay. Kate Darlin. Yeah? So yeah, Kate's stuck in her combat animation now. This is my favorite part of the job. So she healed herself. Um... You know, I'll keep one of those for the hideout. We need one of those for the, uh... For the weapons wall. And... Hit those. Okay. I'll we'll sell this stuff to Mouse Cleo. Good Actually, you know what? Daisy will not... Or I'm going to say Cleo won't buy junk. Don't be shy now. Chances are we have whatever you're looking and for. And actually, I already bought all of Cleo's um, ammo that I would want anyway. Bit of everything. Oh, his clothing mod edited apparently didn't create crafting recipe filter. Oh! Crafting recipe. Interesting. I never would have guessed that that would cause that. Cool. That is, that's actually some good info to know. I never would have thought that would be a cause. Alright. Alright, Daisy, I think that's good. Right, let's go see Doc Sherry. Get rid of these rads. Hopefully she's open 24-7. 
You call that a gun? I do. It glows. Look at my glowy plasma gun. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Uh, yes. Um... Get rid of my rats. Tell me your symptoms. I got radiation. Oh, blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah, we better clean you up. Okay. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? I don't think so. And off you go then. Okay. I didn't have anything else active, right? Nope, we're good. All right, where's Kate? Make it over here. There she is. All right, let's head into our cool little apartment. Inflation, yeah, the economy's gone to shit. Twenty-two eighty-seven in this economy. Yeah, I raised all the prices for all the all the services, all the doctor stuff, um, running a room, haircuts, everything's. Very, very inflated. Getting a cure to cure my rads? Hey, they're, they're, they're experts in radiation treatments. Alright, let's get some sleep. Let's do, um, I think we'll do nine hours. We'll sleep in. It was a long day. And that will heal me up. I'll fill up my bottles, drop some stuff off, and then we'll take a break. Okay. Let's grab the sink. Hey, Legionary, how you doing? How many waters did that give me? Five. All right, we're going to leave a few things here. Like that. How's it going, Legionary? Uh, those can stay here. I got 60. All right, we're gonna we're gonna craft up some dirty water here, cause I love that dirty water. Boston, you're my home. Okay, so I have one left. Let's just leave that here. Again, that's uh, purified water is one of the is basically the only thing I'm allowed to cook. All right, so we'll leave a stash here. Leave those here. Those. That. I'd like to get this down a little bit more. Some of the stuff I'll probably come back for at some point after we get underground hideout set up, but um, I want the springs. Coffee mugs will leave here for now that there. Fusion core. We'll leave that. Okay, doing good. We're doing your load order again, doing a vanilla-esque run. All right. Every time I talk to you, you're doing your load order. <laughs> you do more re load order stuff than I do. Where'd Kate go? Did we lose Kate? I think we lost Kate. Kate is not here. Hmm. Well, that's fun. Hey, Tasty, how you doing? All right, let's... Give the dog a pencil. Give the dog a pencil. Actually, we're going to give him... Now, we'll hang on, it springs. So we need 30 pencils for Heather Kasdan. I keep, I keep wanting to say Willow. So I'm going to make a save here, and it's going to be break time. You're just in time for coffee break there, Tasty. It's good to see you. Yeah, quick little break. I desperately need some coffee. I've needed coffee since before the ball. And hopefully when we leave, we'll, uh, we'll be able to get Kate back. I'm not sure quite where she buggered off to. Uh, break time. Grab a cup. Grab what you gotta grab. I'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Yay! You're back! Okay. Thank you very much for sticking around for the break. Yay, we're back. And we're, we're I, I don't know where Kate is. 
I think Kate didn't quite make it in here, but um, yeah, thanks for sticking around, everybody. We have we have hot, fresh coffee. Coffee makes the stream go and uh, makes dog get stuck on chairs. All right, well, we're not gonna go back to Diamond City quite yet. We're gonna hold off on uh, going to talk to Mr. Valentine, even though very may very well bring us uh, closer to uh, tracking down this Kellogg and the Institute. Oh, thanks, Ken. Do appreciate it. Um, it's actually Tim Horton's coffee. I actually have, honest to goodness, Canadian Tim Horton's coffee. And it's delicious. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go get uh, the vault born a vault to live in. She needs a, a proper vault player home up in this part of the map. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go and uh, get underground hideout unlocked. So we'll have to go up, discover the house, read a note, go on a quest to get the key. Because we're currently, we're almost level 15, or actually we're 15 level, almost level 16. Uh, I have the uh, the quest set up, the encounter zone for the um, uh, for the enemies, minimum level 15, and that's where we are, so that's what we're going to do. I do not have a Timmy's around here, however, Target, you know, you know that, that, that French store, that French department store chain, Target, they sell Tim Horton's coffee. They sell whole bean Tim Horton's coffee. So I buy the whole bean Tim's, Tim Horton's coffee and I grind it up. And it's delicious. Um, funny thing about Tim Horton. Allegedly, my grandmother... My grandmother was um, native Canadian. Or Canadian. She was actually in the uh, Ojibwa tribe. She would always say that... I don't remember what the relation is. Somehow my family is related to Tim Horton. Don't ask me what it is, but my grandmother always said... Yeah, we're related to Tim Horton on my mother's side. How? Well, I don't really know. I just that's that's what she always told me. <laughs> Sponsorship? Yeah, yeah. So, according to my grandmother, we're, I'm related to Tim Horton, but she passed many years ago, so I I have no idea what the relation is. But that's a thing. I, I want I want my share of the coffee profit. So where the hell? Oh, there's. Okay, Kate's right there. Why did you not make it inside, Kate? Mom integrated to Canada. Tried Tim Horton when I went to visit. Oh, cool. I like their coffee. I like it very much. I wish we had a Tim Horton's around. The closest I have there, I think um, Western New York has, Western New York State has Tim Horton's like about three or four hours from me. Peace, sister. When OG Timmy's, you go to McDonald's as Tim's changed bean distributors and McDonald's took it over. Really? All right, we got everybody? Well, that's interesting. Kate? Okay, Kate. I, I just want to try to get everybody before we leave. Ever been to kill or be um, killed? So, so uh, somebody was asking, happens. was it Vish? Someone was asking about if Nye's, Nye's good neighbor mod was compatible with the condo. And the answer would be no, because my condo mod below door would be right here. So you'd have to come up with a patch for that. And both mods uh, regenerate pre-combined, so there would be an issue there as well. Um, so yes, what we're going to do is I'm going to set the map a marker on on the map. It's good to have a map. I think this is this is roughly yeah. It's right, oh, roughly right there is where we're going. Southern England has no Tim Hortons. Not sure you ever will. I'm not surprised you don't have it. Tim Horton was a hockey player. Don't ask me what team he was on, but he was a famous Canadian hockey player back. Oh, jeez. Was it 60s or 70s, Candy? I'm not even sure. Oh, it's oh, it Buffalo. Ah, oh, for some reason I thought he was Canadian. Because my grandmother's side of the family is Canadian. Tells you how much I know. Um, so what I was thinking we'd do is we'd head back up towards... Bunker Hill. You say that, but we're also getting Wendy's, so you never know. I'm surprised you guys don't have them already. Uh, fun, fun, funny story, though. The very first time my mother went to Europe, she spent a week in the UK. And when I travel, especially when I go to Europe, I like to try the local cuisine, the local stores, the local flavors. And I don't know, I like Indian food, and London had some of the best damn Indian food I ever had. 
So I always like trying the local restaurants and stuff. But not my mom. My mom is your stereotypical American. She spends a week in another country. And where's her first night in London, where does she go for dinner? Pizza Hut. Frickin' Pizza Hut in London. Well, it was close to the hotel and I knew what I would be in for. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Bunker Hill, check in with Deb, see what she might have for sale, and then I think we'll we'll head up this way, down, uh, we'll go past County Cross, that's the furthest north we've been. Deb does want us to go and clear up the National Guard trading area, I'm gonna hold off on that for the time being. I think we'll we'll take a chance. I'm feeling kind of kind of lucky, going up towards Finch Farm, and trying to avoid the Finchinator, because the last time uh, my last playthrough. Abraham Finch was so desperately wanted to give me a quest, he literally chased me all the way back down the county crossing. I'm not even joking. Let's go see if that Yalgwai showed it back up here again that went missing. Um, yeah, so we'll go head up, we'll cut over Finch Farm, and um, I think he's back over this way. I think he's still here. Finch Farm and then cut over to where, uh, it's basically over by Long Neck Wilkowski's is where we gotta go. Uncle Lander, hello, sir. How the hell are ya? Hang on a second. I'm gonna do the shout-out thing for Uncle Lander. How you doing, sir? I hope, hope, hope the rest of your stream went well. I had to bail to do this. You are playing Fallout 4. What is this Fallout 4 of which you speak? Yeah, I feel like I'm amongst the cool kids now. How you doing, Lander? So, I want to see if that, um... Yeah, he's not, not back over here. That yogi that went missing never came back. All right. No yogi for me. Okay. No, oh, wrong gun. That's the gun I want. So yeah, we'll head over towards um, Bunker Hill. Try and sneak past Finch Farm and see how that goes. We do have a quest for Jack Cabot, Boston's too. not so bad out here on the fringes, but fuck me, there's nothing but muties, raiders, and gunners further in. Heather and dropping the F-bombs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, uh. no, you don't. Whoa, whoa. I did. Stuff I can sell. I'll buy some more blood packs. Uh, Speakeaser says, Necessity for Midwesterners, my family no doubt found, found British cooking too spicy. Uh, mother was one of the few in your family who enjoyed exotic food. See, my mom loves cooking. She's an excellent cook, but... Every time she's gone to Europe twice, and she's always gone to like American chain restaurants. It's like, ah, oh, come on, ma. Where's Doctor K? Could hold out pretty well in a spot like this. I've been coming here since there I was is. a baby. Legend has it, I took my first steps in the market. Really? Here she is. Hey again. Working on a slogan for this surgery. I'm thinking the doctor is in, pain is out. Eh, that might be false advertising. Let's oh, just talk I, about. I, I actually was thinking the same thing earlier, J, J, J Bird. I wish Meltdown perk was a thing in this game. All right, but go easy on the chems. I became a very, very strong ag advocate for Meltdown. You have no blood packs. You make me sad. You make me very sad, Dr. K. I'll give you my Tato flower. Because I respect you as a, as a professional, I will give you my Tato flower. What do I have for stim packs? I'm going to hold off. I have 38. Same with Chinese tourists. Uh, the place they... Place they go to eat Chinese restaurant. Yeah, my very first time in Paris. I've been there like four, maybe five times. My very first time. My girlfriend at the time and I were... We left our restaurant. Like we wanted to... to whiny caravan oh. Place is full of them. Little, uh, little bakery... Down this, down the end of the street, and uh, we're outside this beautiful Parisian, you know, your your, your stereotypical uh, Parisian 
corner store bakery. Beautiful, big, beautiful home, you know, homemade bag baguettes. Um, American, elderly American couple out front. And they're trying to decide to where they want to go for breakfast. So my girlfriend and I are looking at the place and yeah, let's go here. This looks awesome. And uh, all I, the only part of the conversation I remember was the woman saying, Do you want to go here to the Starbucks? You're in Paris. Why would you go to a fucking Starbucks, lady? And that was my story. Where's Deb? There is a mod that adds Meltdown. I'll have to look at that for my New Vegas run then. Thanks, Deckard. Let me uh, pop that into another window. Do you want to go here to the Starbucks? Oh, I gave Meg a different so outfit, too. So you want that too. Ten caps. Uh, no. Meg is now dressed like a little gunner. <laughs> You're loss. You're not with my Where caravan, so don't bother me. Where the hell's Deb? Is she over... Is Deb taking a uh, lunchtime martini break? I'm Stockton. You've heard of old man Stockton, yes? Mine is in the shop. I run three caravans that travel throughout the Commonwealth. They, they have excellent coffee in Paris, just not at Starbucks. You ever buy anything from Good Neighbor or Diamond City? Odds are it's been delivered by my you ever see one like of our Oh, oh on my. Ah! Ah, yeah, uh, too much, too everything. much, too much force greet. Too much with the force greetings. Where the hell is Deb? My, there she is. Where the hell were you, Deb? Welcome back. Looking to trade? Mine is in the shop. Yeah, sometimes she's not at her store. She is over at the bar. Loud noise. Yeah, Tuma, everybody in Bunker Hill force greeting me. You got the caps? I got the goods. A five minute nap behind the counter. <laughs> oh, Starbucks is. I, I can't do Starbucks. It tastes burned. I do not like burned coffee. I agree. I do not like the, the, the Starbucks. Alright, I have that to sell. You know, why don't you take those? Right, no, I'm actually I'm gonna hang on to some of that stuff. Uh Deb. Oh, Doc. Oh, the doctor's here. Alright, we gotta go talk to Doc over here. I do want your ammunition. Uh, Uncle Lander says that Starbucks in France called French Bucks. Uh, it's, um, that's a sin. American coffee equals black water. Oh, or melted crayons. Um, American beer isn't much better. All right. Doc well, Weathers. Some sort of medical problem here, I'm, or are you just yanking I'm not my that chain? Interested in chatting right now? Is that art? Art. That thing was wearing my face. Art made it over to Bunker Hill, but it's human art. Um, let me see what you have for supplies. I got loads of stim packs, chems, you name it. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's a joke I my my friends in Germany loved it the first time I told it. It's from a Monty Python skit. I was like, why is American beer like making love in a canoe? It's fucking close to water. But I'm bum. Uh, you have no blood packs. You have no blood packs. What kind of doctor has no blood packs? Hmm. Looks like a good spot to Please. take a rest. I, I just want to be alone. Hmm. He said the thing was wearing my face. I think. I think human art's the one that says that. You ready to go, Heather? I, I think we're done here, actually. I think we're done. I bought the things from Deb that I was gonna buy, I sold the things I was gonna sell, and we can go. Make sure we got everybody. Where's Kate? I tell you that, there she is. That psycho addiction is really starting to annoy me, Kate. You gotta get with the program if you want to stay on board. Kill them both, let Todd sort it out. Fix that for you. Alright, we have to go 
have to see what's going on in that ship over there at some point. Alright. Sometimes a random encounter up here. What kind of doctor doesn't sell blood packs? The one who doesn't serve vampires. Wah, wah. Okay, no random encounter here today. Last time I came up through here on my test character, I ran into Gene Gene the dog selling machine. A necromancer. <laughs> oh, what the hell did I see? Somebody in a Skyrim stream said something about a necromancer? What the hell was it? Ah, a necromancer is really just a doctor that can't get it right or has... Oh, Christ, it was... I can't remember when it was. It was pretty funny, implying that, um... Necromancer is a doctor who ha who can't accept losing patients or something along those lines. It was, um... It was humorous. But I think we already took out the turrets up here, right? When we came up through here before. I did not pick up the map marker here. Oh, no, we didn't! Alright. Alright, let's do that right now. Again... Oh, shit. Should have reloaded first. Thanks, Heather. I am um, getting this playthrough con confused with a test playthrough. Something's good. That probably woke up some of the groovy ghoulies, which I'm okay with. That's less we gotta clear up from the outside. There's one right there. So yeah, we got the proper army paint job on that um Vertebrate over there. That That vertebrate that's old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. What the hell was that? That great shot, Heather, uh, right in front of me there. That vertebrate... Whoa! Big butta boom. The vertebrate that's right there. Old school. Pre-war. Not on the roof, but you might have seen it. Now it has the proper army paint scheme on it, so... That little load order shuffle. Exactly what I needed to do. There's a, um... He came out. There's usually a ghoul in this bus over here. I'm not gonna go in and get the, um... I'm gonna get the map marker, though. We're not gonna go and clear this out for Deb just yet. Might have slipped your view, Land. I, just in case you didn't know about it, I figured I'd point it out to you. Next time you're through here. I think you're 556. Five, I don't know if he wandered out yet or not. Nope, he did not. Someone has something with us. Okay. Alright, well, we're done here for the time being. Unless this turret... Drop the piece down here that I can get some ammo from? Probably not, though. Alright, that's fine. I don't want to get sidetracked. We need to stay on target. The caravanners are Almost there. Another save here. Do I have a main settlement? I do not do settlements. This is a no settlement playthrough. I have player homes. I'm on my way to open up my main player home right now. Oh! Come on, Heather. Oh, shit! Good thanks, Heather. Thank you. Not only did you cripple me, but you hit the dog. So what is this settlement of which you speak? How you doing, Matt? No, I don't do settlements. So the answer is uh, is no. If I find you, you're gonna regret it. You know how to show Thanks, a girl Kate. Good time. Uh, player home is going to be underground hideout. It's uh, something I did specifically for this playthrough. It's a recreation of my favorite Fallout 3 player home. 
We're on our way to get it right now. Well, we have to get a quest first. No wipe in the floor with you. Where's that Mr. Gutsy? But up oh, there he is. Ask and ye shall receive. Stop moving! Look at that. Yay. I repeat, will you comply? <laughs> uh, let's see. Right now, the only player home I have open, my main, quote, main one right now is at uh, Home Plate. I'm using a mod that renovates Home Plate to an actual player home. Um, I've also got about eight courier stations from one of my mods. The, there's Bunker Hill right there. Those are like little temporary player homes. Coastal Cottage, or uh, not the Coastal Cottage, but up near Kingsport Lighthouse is where Underground Hideout's going to be. So that's where we're headed right now. The big, beautiful bunker that is going to be my main base. Ah, those actually have value and circuitry. And I can sell that. I can sell the mod. The robot mod. What happened to the power armor that's here? Oh no. Just these lousy raider pieces. Can I take this? I'm gonna take these and sell them. We can sell those. Actually, Heather, why don't you carry those for me? I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Okay. Oh, I'm looking for this. Yeah, why don't you carry those for me, Heather? You would love to carry my burdens. Alright, here's the trick. The trick is... Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to pick up the map marker for, for Finch Farm, but evade the Finchinator. The Finchinator will chase me down all the way across the map, to give me a Actually, you know what? I am going to do the Finch quest this time around. I'm not averse to doing the, the, the settlement quests. We're just not doing the actual settlements. Last time, we actually actively avoided the, the, the settlement stuff, the quests. But I've already got the one for Grey Garden. I'm not averse to doing the one for Abraham. Just not right now. But I want to show you guys... Yes, the Finchinator. My last playthrough... I was not allowed the the, uh, the guidelines for the playthrough. I was not even allowed to interact with the settlers. I did not want to get their quests. So I came within within visual range of Abraham Finch. He's on his porch over there. He ran towards me like, like his life was depending on it. Because it probably was. And I, I literally ran back down, down towards County Crossing. He chased me all the way down to National Guard training yard before he gave up. Literally hunted me down like the Terminator. So that's why we call him the Finchinator. But for now, we're, we're all going to avoid him. I want to see if he will, in fact, chase me down. Now, when I did my test playthrough, he absolutely did. And I went across the water. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. We're going we're gonna, to uh, we're gonna do the swimmy thing. Where is he? Here he comes. Here comes the Finchinator. We're going to swim. I probably should have took some Rad X. There he is. He gave up. That's the only thing that saves me is the water. The, the Finchinator will not... Apparently the Finchinator can't swim. Who are you? What have you done? <laughs> Uh, the sand texture, these are from Spiffy, I'm um, using Spiffy Sky Tro Spiffy Sky Troopers, uh, Natural Landscapes. Yeah, the, the, the sand are awesome. The, uh, the spec map for the, uh, for the wet sand is just, yeah, best friggin' textures. Uh, that's the Capital Wasteland dog meat. That is dog meat from Fallout 3. Yep. Because my, this is my character. Oh, jeez, we still have, uh, the fashionable glasses on. We don't want those. This is my character from Fallout 3. Ten years later. And she's got all her toys from uh, from down home. And uh, I, I, I'm i using the Capital Wasteland. Uh, dog. They have a Dog Meat 3 mod. 
but I'm using their assets as a replacer for the vanilla dog meat. So that's actually Fallout 3 dog meat. I remember Brian Wilkes chasing me all over. Oh yes, yes, Brian Wilkes does that. And if, and if, it, oh shit, oh shit. Oh jeez, I only have one friggin' frag left. That's not good. Use a standalone dog meat but can't use it at the same time. Yeah, if using the Capital Wasteland, uh, the dog meat 3 mod, yeah, you can't use them both. And I considered using him, uh, but uh, there is another dog meat mesh and texture replacer for the old school dog meat that I was going to use, but when that mod came out, I said, oh, okay, there's my dog meat. Uh, but yeah, Brian Wilkes, if you don't go over towards, um, Girder, or Girder Shade, Grey Garden? Oh boy. Grey Ditch. If you don't go over to Grey Ditch, another random Wastelander will come, come along and tell you about the things in Grey Ditch. And you get the quest that way. I think we had that in my playthrough, actually. It was a groovy ghoulie party. Alright, let's go down, <coughs> excuse me, while I'm here... Make a save. Let's go down here and get the gainer. I'm gonna delete Vivid all in one and use this mod. Well, that's up to you. I can't tell you. Uh, I I can I can definitely recommend you give it a shot. See which one you like better. I I honestly personally I think um, I no longer use Vivid. I use Vivid back in the day, but I think there's better better quality textures out there right now. But I'm that's that's your preference. I definitely suggest giving it a shot, though. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna take that. Ever hear about Grey Ditch? Whole place is controlled by antennas. <laughs> Whole place is controlled by fucking ants. I don't know, my dad just said they're the dumbest fucking ants he ever saw. Alright, when I did my test playthrough, I came in here to get the gainer. And when I left is when I discovered that, yes, Assaultrons can swim. That pool of water I just came through? <coughs> One of the the robot patrols from NPCs travel, the, the Assaultron and the Mr. Gutsy were on the other side, and the Assaultrons can swim. It's true. Um, do I have the Hellfire power armor? No, I do not. I'm not really going to be using power armor. Not a huge power armor fan, to be honest. Every time I play this game, I tend to use it less and less. And because of the crafting restrictions I have for this playthrough, I won't be able to uh, upgrade power armor. Oh, that's right. 10 is 0. Alright, and 4... And five and one. Bingo. Disco! And we'll take a fusion core. And we'll take the gainer. Oh boy. Five points of fire damage for three seconds. Get excited. It's an actual unique gun though. Because they no longer have legendaries. Random legendary drops do not exist. Hmm. I'll never use it, but it'll look good in the museum. And that I can sell. Alright, cool. To be a drogger on the other side. <laughs> Very possibly. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Just in case I have another encounter like I had the last time I came out of here. Freaking ants with flamethrowers attached to their heads. Freaking ants. Okay. Make sure I have all my companions out here, too. So, yeah, I came out of here, immediately heard the Assaultron. The Assaultron was on the other side. She detected me. She came halfway across the water here and one shot at me with her laser from the fucking water. It was brilliant. It was amazing. Uh oh, I hear. Alright, so the gunners are probably shooting at the, um. Oh. 
at the um, the Brahmin over there, as they tend to do. Another, what is, oh, that must be uh, a piece of that, um, that groovy ghoulie. Does I only have one friggin' grenade left? Oh, shit, that's not good. Hmm. I think I left some in the APC or back at home plate. Hey, look! Mac was here. Oh, no, the ghouls killed Mac! No, Mac! No! <laughs> I bet the ghouls came through and killed him. Rip Mac. Can I have an F in chat for Mac, please? Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm gonna rip your limbs off. Get him, Heather. Still another one over here somewhere. Somebody's still shooting. Oh, where are you? There you are. It's a nightkin. Ah, that was easy. Except, um, he took a little chunk out of me. Mac died living his dream. He did. He totally did. He died living the dream. So the last time. Say he was he over. I think he was over here one of my test runs for this playthrough. The last time I saw him dead was like um. It was my test run for the last playthrough. He was over. Actually, this is the other player home I have. I have the scavenger safe house installed too, back over here by the uh, the mass pike interchange. There's an area over here where he spawns, and I was just about to go and talk to him. I saw him. He was behind. He was all happy behind his bar stand. That Yagwai that's on the uh, the collapsed overpass there came out and killed him. So that was that was Mac. Yeah, I have Nightkin. I have a mod that adds Nightkin into the game. Not a lot of them, but just enough to make it interesting. I'll take that mini nuke. Well, just enough to make it interesting. The Capital Wasteland um, Ghoul mod. Or not Ghoul mod. The Capital Wasteland, what is it, Doug? Uh, DC and West Coast Super Mutants, I think it's called. Oh no, look at look at this, everybody. Completely unplayable. Look at this. Do you guys see what I'm seeing here? Look at this. Look at that. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. Yep, 10 out of 10, completely unplayable. There's a glitch in the matrix. Yep. Glitch in the matrix, everybody. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. I see it. I can take the map marker off. All right, let's go pick up one Nick Lukowski's marker. We're not going to go in yet. I have to decide how I'm going to handle the trailer Riley, Riley situation. Since I don't have settlements to send her to, I don't want her just standing out in front. My uh, 48 hour test, test run with this load order. She stayed out here the entire time. I didn't have a settlement to send her to. She stayed out here until... I'm assuming it's the same random feral ghoul patrol. Yeah, they showed up over here somewhere and they ripped her head off. I'm not even joking. She bled to death. Decapitated right here. So. I don't want that to happen. I know you can run into her in different places around the map. But I didn't have... I just... She didn't... She never left. Alright. I hear gunfire over... Oh, shit, yeah, we're gonna have to go out and clear out, um, Kingsport Lighthouse. No, you can't send her to home plate. You have to have ten settlers to send her someplace. So I couldn't send her anywhere. I hear gunfire. Let's go towards the gunfire. Let's embrace the gunfire.
So yeah, she just stood there. No matter what dialogue I had, she, she just she would not leave, and then the, then the ghouls killed her. It's art and art again. It's art and art again. Wait a minute, how many arts are no. there? I'm, I'm not that interested in chatting right now. <laughs> we just ran into you over... That's the synth. So this is the real art. Heyday. What the... Over here! Yep. He's got the android component. That was for science. I didn't really want to do that, but... It was for science! Did you see that? Oh, look! I'm planting little baby trees in your honor, Art! Like Cricket would say. Alright. Geeking the synth. I was just, it was for science. It was a science experiment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go, um... If I want to bring the APC up there, and bring the right... Oh, I leveled up. Now, let's do this over here. I'm gonna have to go clear out Kingsport Lighthouse. And I got killed to death several times the last time I tried that. Let's do our level up. I completely forgot we did that. Alright, I think I'm gonna put... Uh, where are we here? I want to get medicine up to 50. Hmm. I'm gonna put them all into medicine. Oh, shit! Gretzky is denied! Alright, we'll learn those. And I'm gonna take tag. Can I take tag? I said I was gonna take... Yes, we're gonna take tag. Tag perk allows you to select a fourth skill. It'll be tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15. I'm gonna take that 15 and put him in the hacking. And then we have to close. Uh, hacking. Hacking is now 55. There. Thank you for that wonderful mod, Deckard. I loves it. And I will be taking the Explorer perk as well. I'm wondering, if we if we see more arts, because that's like the third time we've run into them, we'll have to see. Pulowski. That is, that is not the Pulowski shelter I'm looking for. This is the Pulowski shelter I'm looking for. The hideout entrance, actually. Heather, why don't you to stay here? Won't move from this spot. Okay. Much. Much. <laughs> Sometimes when you tell her to wait, she has a wise-ass comment like Willow does. Like if you tell Willow to wait, sometimes she'll say, "Okay, I'll be here waiting for you." In a really snarky tone, Heather does the same thing. The reason I don't want Heather, I'll explain uh, in a minute why I don't want Heather down here. The first time, anyway. Underground hideout. The reason I don't want Heather to come down here is because Fallout 4 with multiple companions pushes you, your spawn point, way further ahead than it should be. We nice can, spot for a last stand. We can now cast Summon Heather. Heather has been summoned. Um, if I were to bring Heather in here, there's a really good chance I'd spawn on the opposite side of this door, which is not what I want. If you have multiple companions, for whatever reason, Fallout 4 in its infinite wisdom will push you f way ahead of the um, the low door marker. You know, the older games don't do that, but yet 4 does, so. Which is when I go with, uh, if I were to go into the... Um, the first time you go in the Boston Public Library, if you go through the front door, there's that uh, trap there with the grenade bouquet. If I have two humans and the dog, like I've already had these set up that I have here now with the companions, we've already done that quest. But every time I go in there with two humans and the dog, I literally land on top of that trap and activate it. It's, hell, it's very annoying. So, door is locked. We need to get the key. But there's a note for Dr. Zimmer. How many bug reports did I get? Um, 
I guess one because the, there's a collision uh, on one of the um, the the mainframe meshes is kind of backwards, and I usually put um, collision marker over them. I forgot it, and that was it. The other things I've updated are typos, uh, text changes that should not that should have been labeled something different in adding the um, uh, the new first aid kits, and then one person that said that mod crashed my game literally. I I, I, don't, I have this installed and it crashes my game. One of those. But this note for Dr. Zimmer. From Dr. Zimmer. Hey. The vault board knows Dr. Zimmer. That's the guy. That's the whole reason she's in the Commonwealth is because this Dr. Zimmer guy. About the Heather issue? None. None so far. I do have it mentioned, though, that if you have multiple companions, you might want to leave them outside or... Or, um, you know, leave the door open once you get, unlock it. But no, nothing for that. Um, Dr. Zimmer, yeah. This is the whole reason, the conversation with Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Who was down there from the Institute searching for an android. We know Dr. Zimmer. It's no so long shot that you're reading this, but in the event you return while I'm away, I wanted to let you know where I went. I was ordered by the SRB to investigate the sighting of an escaped synth in the vicinity of Green Tech Genetics and observe the courser assigned to the re reacquisition after the newest upgrades. Now, we know that synths are what the people in the Commonwealth call androids, but we have no idea what SRB is or Green Tech Genetics or even a courser is yet. No idea. Since the target location is close to the old subway ruin where you found the parts for the Fusion Core Charger, I want to go there to see if there are any components there I could use for some side projects. Access to certain items has been far more restricted in your absence, so I've had to resort to some creative methods in acquiring them to continue your research. I'm sure the Courser, whatever a Courser is, can handle one runaway synth on its own. Runaway Android. We know about runaway androids. Sorry to say I have the only key to get inside. I know you told me many times to leave a spare for you where you could get it, but I have failed to do so in the 10 years you've been away. Your faithful assistant, Jonathan Mosley. Yes, it was about 10 years ago that the Vault Born talked to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. So we have a quest, Finding Jonathan. Just like the Fallout 3 mod. I wonder where I got the name for that from. Uh, so yeah, we have to go get the quest marker active. We have, we have not discovered Green Tech Genetics yet, so we have to go here. Search for Jonathan in the subway ruins. Uh, only issue I have with how, how there's unnecessary amount of F-bombs. I like to throw a fuck here and there, but for some reason, Heather kind of... Oh, the, she drops the F-bomb too much? Let's do it. I think... I don't know. There, There is a terminal that you can build for her in a settlement that will allow her to you to disable certain dialogue with her. Like, if her and... I, I know how much you love Pipper, their Uncle Lander... But a lot of people complain about um, how Heather and Piper are constantly bickering. Well, you can turn that off in that in that terminal. I think you have to, to have build it in the settlement. We're gonna leave all this shit here. But you know, people don't read mod descriptions. They they complain about it. I see streamers that oh I I, I don't like Heather Kazin because she always does this. It's like well you can turn that shit off in the terminal. I think you can turn off the swearing, but I, I actually love her up. What is it? Oh, sure. Make me carry more of your junk. Okay. I like her up bonds. Oh, Kate's been using. Okay. Yeah, I gotta give Kate some stim packs here. I should probably check Heather's inventory too. So I'm going to leave some of the stuff here. There is a little container here that uh, I added that if you want to leave some shit here, you can leave some shit here. Is there, there is a terminal in her bunker. Yeah. Is intro where you initially recruit her? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Let's do it. All I know is that you can build a terminal in a settlement I don't know which category it's under, but you can turn off certain things that you don't like about her, certain dialogue options. That's all I know. I actually like her, her F-bomb, so I never bothered to build said terminal. Um, 
I don't. The, there's a terminal in her bunker. I don't know if it has the same options though. Maybe. No idea. Yeah, she's only got five. Jesus, you guys have been using stim packs left and right. All right. Yeah, this little container right here. Yeah, I think she might have a chem... Yeah, something about a chem lab. Maybe that's what it is. I know there's a terminal you can craft for her to, to turn off some of the dialogue options. Right, we're going to leave the gainer in here, too. Because I see people comment on it all the time about wanting to turn off the bickering with them. Um, with Pipper. Well, I kind of like it. I like the fact that they are uh, they get caddy with each other. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave all this stuff here. Most of it, anyway. I'm going to leave... Anything I don't need to carry right now, we're just going to leave here. Mini Nuke, I don't need that. Ah, I'm going to leave some of these behind. We now have a surplus of, of those. And actually, we did discover that Willow will swear. And uh, Llama told me when I, I mentioned that on, on the mod page that, yeah, Heather, or Willow will actually swear under certain conditions. I did not know that that was a thing. All right, you know what? We're going to leave all these here, too. We don't need all that. I think that's good. Um, what am I doing here? Dog meat, what do you have? Okay, you're good. You don't have anything. Bunker in the bunker in her terminal has all the options? Okay, so I never I never used it, so I, I don't know. That's good to know. Yeah, I, actually there's um something you can one of the terminal options is to um you can skip certain parts of her quest. Or if they don't, um, like the tour of the Commonwealth. Some people have problems uh, where you take her to the different locations. Some people pr have problems where you take her to the location and it doesn't it doesn't uh, progress the quest. I think the ter her terminal has options for either fixing or skipping her her uh, her companion quest. Just don't put the Grognat Axe in the collectible cabinet. It won't come back out. Oh, in her, her bunker? I didn't know that. I usually give it to her and let her carry it around for I'll give her that and the Alien Blaster. Alright, so let's head back down the from where we came. Hey, Snapfit, how you doing? You know what? Let's, um... Let's make a save here. I've never had had issues with her glitching either, Lander. I know... What, why did I get just get XP? I have no idea. Yeah, I like giving her the Alien Blaster. And I like it that she doesn't use ammo for it, either. She's actually using Akak's minigun right now. I had her pick up Akak's stuff last night. Very therapeutic. They get what they deserve, and I get to be happy oh. about it. Oh. Damn you! That's not Sparky. Die already. Jesus Christ. Damn, just die already. Now I'm hungry. Yay. Okay. Now we found Sparky last night, except I screwed up and didn't name him Sparky. I had one job. And I screwed it up. But we did find Sparky. Except I have a mod that gives Sparky a facelift, so I know it's uh, actually Sparky. Comforting Moo. A comforting Moo up there. Yeah, it gives, uh, it replaces the, uh, the mongrel that it normally is. With a junkyard dog. Because how many times you see Sparky, you mistake it for one of those nasty random mongrels and you kill it. And I've done that before. 
I felt terrible. But we actually found Sparky up near um, Starlight last night. Oh, I didn't get the map marker here either. Yeah, I failed Sparky miserably. Yep. Yeah, that's why I said last night I'm waiting for the unsubs and the uh, unfollows to come in. All right, before I come across here, I'm going to take some Rad X. I didn't get the map marker. I was so intent on av avoiding the, um, the Finchinator. Let's get the map marker for now. Oh, I'm sick. Doc Weathers over here? Can I talk to Doc Weathers? I can't. Here he comes. I don't want his quest yet. I want to talk to Doc Weathers, though. Where is he? Here he comes, everybody. Let's see how far he'll follow me this time. <laughs> here he is. Comes the Finchinator. Where am I going here? Where is he? Is he going to follow? Or did the landscape confuse him? Oh, no, he's back on the porch. He went back. Poof. <laughs> I'll talk to Dr. K when we get, because we're going to go back bunker. What the hell did I get here? Hey, insomnia. That's no biggie. We'll sleep that off. Last time, my last playthrough, it th there's there's clips of it. Somebody clipped it for sure. He literally chased me all the way down the road here. Back to the um, National Guard training yard. Like a soldier outside Boulder City, he will hunt. Oh, the uh, the guy? Are you talking about the soldier outside um, by the memorial? If you shoot it, that, that soldier? Yay, insomnia! Insomnia, yay, you're back! Well, Uncle Lander sent me a great clip of... Um, if you get that quest, the, um, what the hell is it? The, the quest for Michelangelo to go around and take all the, uh, the pictures with the camera. The camera is technically a weapon. The, the, the game treats the camera as a weapon. If you take a picture of the memorial at Bunker, at, um, at Boulder, H Bunker Hill, at Boulder City, he will, he will do the thing. Yeah, you want to post a link to that in chat, Lander? You got it. You guys got to see this. Yes. He will, he will berate you for shooting at the monument for just for taking a picture. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, if you can find that lander, go ahead and post it. It's beautiful. Oh, great. We got fog. I'm going to let the insomnia go for now because when we get, actually, when we get inside the uh, hideout, I can use the my first infirmary to get rid of this if I still have it by then. Yeah, no, no flash photography, please. No flash photography. All right, thanks, Lander. Yeah, that's it's definitely worth a look. It's very short, but it's fucking hilarious. So we haven't been down this area. Oh, that's right. There's this um, there's that raider camp over there. Oh boy, what could possibly if go it wrong? For the caravans, I'd have to close up shop. They've always been my best customers. What could possibly go wrong? Teapot. We don't need no stinking teapot. It's... What? What were you saying, Kate? What was that, Kate? It sounded like she said piss. I know that's not what she said, but... Hey! Bobby caps. Bobby caps. I got bobby caps, everybody. Brand new, brand new item, loot item, bobby caps. Oh shit, where are you? Bottle caps and bobby pins. Bobby caps. Alright, 
we haven't gotten the Ticonderoga yet because we haven't um we haven't been to Old North Church yet. We'll grab that stuff. All right, there's um definitely raiders over here. Oh, there's all kinds of something going on over here. I hear plasma. Somebody has plasma guns. Mongolian Jeep, how you doing? Hang on a second. How the hell are you? Let me give you a shout out here. Trying to be better about this. Playing Fallout 4. Yeah, what were you? What is this Fallout 4 of which you were playing? How you doing? Good to see ya. New fresh currency storming to the Commonwealth. Ghoul coin. <laughs> Uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, I've only died once tonight, which is amazing. I'm very possible I'm going to die again. But other than that, doing pretty damn good. Actually, I can cut over this way. We don't actually have to go and clear these guys out, but we might as well. I can cut over this way and get to where we got to go, but um, I think we'll go and clear out these raiders over here because the Vaultborn hates the raiders. Absolutely fucking lows raiders. At least it's not raining. I see... Somebody down there. Okay, that's a wastelander. I'm not gonna kill that wastelander. I don't know. Oh, there's a raider up there. Hold oh, up. knocked him down. Victory rifle doing its thing. Or did you die? Did you actually go down? Did you die? Oh, maybe you did die. Oh. Trying to, I'm trying to protect this this person. Where are you? Oh, okay, there's my one, my last grenade. I have no more grenades left. No more. I have Molotovs. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Don't let me get stuck. Oh, your dog came up here and died. Oh, you bastards. Fucking, fucking bastards. Are you still up there? This isn't just any plasma gun. This is very special. A321's plasma rifle that the Vault Born brought with her from the Capital Wasteland. Yeah, she, she got it off an android. I mean, a synth down there. She kind of stabbed him in the back, sold him out to the Institute, and got his gun. She brought this from the Capital Wasteland with her. Wanna go up there? Let's go up there and say hello. Yeah, I'm actually also using a mod that adds this really, really cool plasma pistol. And I haven't found one yet. Probably not high enough level. But I like my energy guns in this game. I like the energy weapons. Do I have Molotovs? Let me... I have one. Oh, boy. I don't know if that one's still over here or not. Got all the gopher mods you told me to get for New Vegas. Now I need to find some stuff for Fallout 4 to add. Cool. I... I there's so many mods. <laughs> uh, the thing is with New Vegas, I was just looking back at the New, New Vegas Nexus again uh, yesterday. Even though I just, I, I finished my playthrough, like, what, two weeks ago? There's so many cool mods coming out for that game. Somebody came out with animated lanterns recently. You wouldn't think it would be much, but my god, they look fucking cool. Oh yeah, you're still here. You have a plasma gun, oh boy. You have a plasma rifle. What are you doing with a plasma rifle, friend? 
Hmm. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? I've had a lot of raiders spawning with plasma rifles. Try for like, I'll take the fusion core. Yeah, early strim. Ali Neko, thank you for that follow. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to leave this. Where we're going, there's going to be a shit ton of loot, so. Leave the doge behind. He'll catch up. Well, we don't have to worry about clearing this place out for a while. I'm probably due for a coffee, coffee break here in a little bit. Maybe once we get to our destination, it'll be coffee break time. Before we dive deep into the dungeon. Okay, there might have been a couple ammo boxes or something around. What do these guys have? I'm not going to loot any of the raider stuff right now. Oh yeah, I knew there was... Oh, more, more plasma! Yes, please. Take a bottle. That. Gonna leave that stuff for now. I feel bad that dog got killed. Those bastards. Okay, you're... I'll take your... Oh! You have a frag grenade. Single frag grenade. Okay. We can't get back this way. Off we go. So this place bug for Tinker Tom specifically cleared out before receiving the quest? Maybe, but I'm not doing Tinker Tom's quest, so it doesn't matter. I think we did run into that last time, though. That um, if if you clear it out before Tinker Tom's, he doesn't give you all the um. Because you're supposed to get 10 Mulas, and I think I only got 8. I think that's what did it, but doesn't matter, because I'm not doing Tinker Tom stuff. At least I don't plan on it. Red Tech Genetics, but here we are. The Subway Ruins. The Ruins of the Subway. That's going to wait. That's going to wait until after the coffee break, because I desperately need to get up, stretch the... We are back. Yay! You're back! Thanks very much for sticking around for that break. Last of the coffee. I got the last of the freaking coffee. Uh, where's the dog? Oh, there he is. Alright. We gotta pick this lock here, but thanks for sticking around. Let's go into the subway ruins and see if we can't find our, our key. Yes, the ruins of the subway. You're pretty handy with a bobby pin. And Richie Marcus likes subways. And balls. All right, let's try not to die. Crunch will be very disappointed if he misses two runs. Oof. Hmm. All right. Lock and load. Whoa, she took a chunk out of me. Holy Christmas. Hmm. Look at what you have, Kate, darling. I think we're the first people to set foot here in quite a while. Y you think so, Kate? You think so, huh? <laughs> the first people. Yeah. I'll get it done. He hates these cans. <laughs> Whoa! Look at this. Gunners with an Institute pistol. How could that be a thing? <laughs> Thank you. 
Literally turn her in the goo. I'd say you came out. Yeah, I, I would say so as well. I agree. All right, for uh, for JT, there's a desk fan. We'll give that desk fan a good home. Uh, take those. Hmm. Why not? Basketball. There's a ball for Richie Marcus. Richie likes balls. So I'm actually adopting a lot of things in this playthrough. I'm adopting the teddy bears, the coffee mugs, and apparently the desk pans now, too. We have to give them all good homes. Yeah, I don't need the tin cans, actually, since I'm not crafting anything, so... Oops, yeah, it's a little dark down here. I do need the sensor module, though. With the sensor module, I can enable the turrets at my house. Something isn't right. We should get out of here. And I can sell the Wonder Glue. Richie is a ball definitely is a ballsy type of guy. I would agree. At least that's the rumor. That's the rumor at American High School, anyway. Uh, you know what? We'll take one of those silver Todd kits. Sensor module. It is practically junk. How'd you like your payment? I'm hoping so some of these gunners. Like the bathroom after Salbury steak night. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I hear. I hear that's horrible. I'm kind of actually. Um, oops. Kind of hoping some of these gunners spawn with combat armor. So that I can actually start using mine. Well, I hope you get some use out of it. But who am I kidding? Alright. Or whatever it is that uh, Protector Kasdan says. I want the carbine? Nee, we'll leave the carbine there. All right, this is probably a good place to make the save. No, no, not run. Light. Well, this is great. I can barely see a damn thing. I can see perfectly fine, Kay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Whoops, that's not what I want. That's. I don't need that stuff. No idea. Oh. It's the first time I've had him spawn right there. Uh, Mongolian Jeep, I am actually using a mod called Unlimited Survival Mode. And it enables you to... It basically gives you the option of having everything that Survival Mode turns off. So if, you're, if you start playing Survival Mode on PC... I highly recommend this. And that allows you to enable everything that gets disabled by survival mode, including um, saving whenever the hell you want. Because whoever thought that saving only when sleeping in a Bethesda game was a good idea, never actually played a Bethesda game. So you can turn back on fast travel, unlock the console, uh, god mode, which I use for testing, quick saves, which I don't use quick saves, um, can enable achievements if you're if you're into the achievements. Can show location. You can actually turn off locations on the compass. I like having them on. Uh, it's you can actually turn the red dots on if if you uh, like survival in easy mode. If you want that, I first time I played survival mode, I actually did have this on, and then I realized, yeah, it's a lot more fun with that off. But it's a, a script extender plugin. There's actually no ESP for it, but you do need the script extender. It's freaking awesome. And whoa, whoa. Hear that? I have a big skull. The reason it's called unlimited survival mode, give me one second, is that you can switch back and forth. Like if you, for whatever reason, if you need to switch back to normal mode, you can. And you can switch back to survival mode. Vanilla, without uh, the mod, you if you um, switch back to. Um, A lower level difficulty, you can't go back to survival. But with this, I can switch back to hard, very hard, whatever, and then switch back to survival like... 
like nobody's business. Wasteland Wander off, but yeah, we'll take that. What do we have here? So we got nothing down there. Dead end. Oh, this is, uh, yeah, the DKS. I actually, since this is my character from Fallout 3, I I took the victory rifle that the DKS mod uses and I put the knockdown effect on it that you get with, I think it's Sniper Rank 3. I changed Sniper Rank 3 to be a stagger because I hate that every ranged gun you use with that perk knocks everything down. Now this is the only gun in the game that will have the knockdown effect, just like the, the victory rifle in Fallout 3. That you get um, that unmarked location with your 100 level lockpick. So yeah, Nora the Vaultborn brought this from uh, Capital Wasteland with her. And it, just like the Fallout 3 gun, it will randomly knock a target down. Uh, she says, one gripe about survival is only saving from beds because it causes the player to sleep in more dangerous situations and risk more illness. That's a good point. That's also a good point. Um, I, I, I just think, um, uh, you know, you play for two hours, three hours, and the game crashes. Oh, I didn't, s I haven't slept to save. I just think for a Bethesda, especially a modded Bethesda game is kind of a, kind of a really awful thing. It's just not not a very good. Um, it is not the goods. Like whoever thought that was a good idea never played the game. I really want this. You know what, Heather? Why don't you uh on it? Inspect that guy there. How about looking for some cover? Come on, Heather. You're gonna do the thing, Heather? Or is Kate gonna get it, because she's closer? I guess Kate's gonna get it, because she's closer. Okay. Hmm? Yep, I've got it. Thank you, Kate. Flamer fuel. That's for the red wave. Hmm. I think we'll leave that stuff behind. Favorite DK's rate was the one from the Oasis Sniper in the church. Oh, which one was that? I don't remember. Which one that was? I want to open this up. Yeah, might, might as well. I don't think there's any terminals in here for Heather to hack either. I still have yet to find a novice terminal for Heather to hack, which I kind of need to do. I don't have any grenades, do I? Yeah, I got one. Hmm. You know what? I might want to hang on to that. <laughs> Reservist rifle. Yeah, I think that's the one. Should be at least two more over. Oh, there you are. You're you're hot, all right. Definitely hot. Get some. Get some. You got a big old skull. Leave my dog alone. Oh, she's she splattered all over the terminal. Searching for unique weapons in 3 in New Vegas is always fun. Yes, I agree. And that's why I've removed all the random legendary drops. So that the only unique ones are actually unique. Because you, the quote uniques in this game draw from the same enchantment effects as you get the random legendary drops. Which really, really uh, is kind of dumb. Right, what am I looking for here? Oh! Oh! For those of you guys that haven't seen it yet, we have very special lockets in my game. Very, very special lockets. They're called... They're, I, I probably should just call these the Todd Kits. I think I may have to go change them to Silver Todd Kits. I may have to do that. 
I have to get that terminal too. Heard of Wasteland Weekend, five day camp out in the Mojave Desert, all post apocalyptic theme, mostly Mad Max, a lot of fault. Is that a real thing? Like, uh, like a Burning Man kind of thing? I've never heard of that. Oh, come on, it's a freaking novice lock. I've never heard of that. That's very cool. I'm looking for some, uh, the pulse grenade. Because I thought about doing the, um... Yeah, we'll take that. I'm going to leave that, uh, don't tell JT, but I'm leaving that dusk bin there just because I'm, I'm, I'm getting, uh, getting kind of, uh, heavy here. Shh, don't tell her I left the dusk bin behind. Um, I'm going, Jeep says, I was planning on going for 2021, then, then last year happened. Oh, boy. Well, the, here's the thing. I was actually thinking about doing the, um... Like, going to Good Springs and all the actual game locations, because I know that's that's a thing that people do. So that might be kind of fun. I've never been to that part of the country other than going through it on a train to L.A., which you don't really get to stop and do anything. And then last year happened. It was either go to Europe again um, or do something like that. And I, you know, that might be fun to go through the Southwest and see some of the places in New Vegas that I've never been to. But yeah, last year happened. But that's kind of cool. I never knew that was a thing. Uh, do I have any dirty... I, I can't craft anything. I don't have any dirty water. All right, I can boil purified water. That's about it. All right. Uh, we'll leave that stuff. I don't need it. All right, let's see what's on this terminal. Came through this mode, level 75 player. They still had skulls next to them. You think you had a run? I do have some of the NPCs. Uh, their, their difficulty level is set, like, mostly medium and hard. I think there may be one... I think I have the boss set to very hard. I'm not really... I can't remember. But yeah, the minimum level for the I have set in the encounter zone is 15. So if you came here at level 75 and you still had skulls, that's kind of cool. I don't want it, I don't want it to be too easy. Also, don't want it to be rolled a pain either. <laughs> hey, Isakai Hero, how you doing? It is going good. I'm trying to get uh, trying not to die. How you doing? Let me do a thing here. Can I get this to work? Give me one second. Yeah, there we go. Give you a shout out. Last play in the Skyrims. Nice. How's Skyrim going for you? Allergies? Oh, you still got the allergies going? I remember you mentioned in that. Yes. What mod removes random legendaries? Because it sounds actually interesting. It's called No Legendaries. It's in my mod list. And for those of you who have recently gotten here, where is that? Exclamation point will get you the mod list. There is, um, there's that. It, I believe it's called No Legendaries. And what it does is essentially sets the, uh, the leveled list chance to spawn to zero. And I did a 30, I think I got to level 30 on my test character. Not a single legendary spawn. And it was glorious. So the unique weapons are actually unique. AWOP levels of difficulty is good. I, I agree. But for a player home mod, probably not. <laughs> oh, no, tr no trouble. Anytime. I'm, I, if, if uh, streamers that have been supportive, of, you know, just friend streamers, people I watch, people I follow, I, I try and, I try and, uh, try and give shout outs when I can remember. Um, search for Wasteland Week and then pick your drop off there. I will. I will. Thanks, Ringmaster. I'll check that out. So, yeah, we have a field terminal report with um, gunner field reports. Uh, this is our third retrieval operation in as many months. Intel reports the target was spotted in the vicinity of the CIT ruins. Possible target was headed towards Bunker Hill as we unconfirm reports of other such retrieval targets being found in the vicinity. Once our forward base is established, Alpha Team will deploy to the nearby Green Tech Genetics building to try and pick up the target's trail. Uh, field Report 2. 
Bravo team did an initial sweep of the subway tunnel and we now have it secure. It will make the perfect forward base for the retrieval operation. While we get this place set up with some turrets, Alpha team has departed to start their retrieval operation. What could they possibly be retrieving from Green Tech Genetics? Uh, they're, they're to investigate Green Tech Genetics area and report back if they find anything. Otherwise, they'll operate autonomously for the next week and we'll stand by, and we will stand by our current location. We have report 3. No word yet from Bravo Team. Assumption is they have not yet found the target near Green Tech Genetics and are expanding their search. If the intel we paid such a steep price for is correct, the target should still be in this area. If we're able to retrieve the target alive, the bounty price will be more will more than compensate for the cost of the intel. Too, too, too soon to tell if the gamble will pay off. Okay, and then we want to go to the prisoner interrogation. Nightwatch captured an intruder at around 0430 in the south end of the tunnel. He was alone, but armed with what appears to be an energy weapon of the same style which we have found on various since we have engaged in other locations. He only had a handful of ammo for it and no provisions or armor, suggesting he did not plan an extended excursion from his base location, wherever that is. The fact that he was dressed in a pre-war business style suit is rather curious. Seems he was not trained or experienced in combat operations, as the Night Guard, Night Watch Guard reports he surrendered with no resistance and wet himself in fear soon afterward. Jenkins isolated him in the northern wing of the tunnel and started his usual interrogation routine. After roughly 50 minutes of interrogation, the prisoner died. I suspect Jenkins wasn't getting any useful information and got bored. Personal note, this is the third such incident with Jenkins in this interrogation in interrogations this month. His boredom is costing us potentially important intel. What information Jenkins did extract from the prisoner can be summed up as such. He claimed he was a trader who frequented the tunnels in past years of scavenging on scavenging trips. He did seem to have some knowledge of the layout of the location. He seemed extremely surprised to find our detachment camped out here, claiming his last trip here was roughly two years ago. Prisoner did not divulge his name or affiliation, however, his energy weapon could indicate an institute affiliation. In addition to his weapon and ammo, his possessions included a terminal password that seemed to unlock terminals at the north end of the tunnels. This would give credence to his claim of having been here before. A white gown type garment of unknown style or origin seems to be a uniform of sorts, but that is only a guess. Prisoner's belongings, as well as his body, are now locked in the old control room at the tunnel's north end. Our detachment is on alert, assuming that whoever sent the intruder may come looking for him or send reinforcements. The fact that this individual infiltrated our base with little difficulty is disturbing, given our diminished personnel count while Alpha Team is away on their retrieval mission. Although the interrogation was a failure, we did obtain a password to the terminals that we previously were unable to unlock. This should prove useful in the event we need to abandon this camp at least for now, we may have a way out of here other than the way we came in. So we want uh, security terminal password. Password has been added. Prisoner that was captured in the south end of the subway tunnels had this terminal password among his possessions. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So. Yes. I am not using Fall UI. Not a fan. I think it looks kind of janky. And it conflicts with uh, the other UI mods I have. Not a fan. You're listening to uh, uh, Diamond City Radio. If, if you're listening at all. Here's Big May, though. Oh, I am. So we have uh, robot work, robot workbenches. Yeah, armor weapons workbench. I really would like some grenades. And out of grenades here. Oh, Jesus. Novice lock, everybody. So if you want a place in this part of the map to um, sleep, store stuff, this cell does not reset. So once you clear it out, it's got workbenches, it's got um, beds. You can totally come in here and, um, and sleep and do what you got to do here. Do some crafting. Yeah, the cigar boxes have a pretty decent um, decent value and they weigh almost nothing. So 
Uh, Heather. Got it. Grab that stuff for me. Thank you. All right, probably a good time to save here, too. Microfusion cells. Yeah, that fall UI just looks like a spreadsheet simulator. It just doesn't... Doesn't interest me. That search feature is the only thing I'm remotely interested in. I'm just not a fan of the layout. I don't see it as being uh, better, just different. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm going to check that out there. Thanks for mentioning that, Ringmaster. That sounds, um... If the world ever gets back to normal, that sounds like uh, something to check out. Flamer fuel. Uh, Speakeaser says, give Fallout UA a mixed Damn. review. Use the base the mod in the workbench right, but the HUD here? was buggy. Confirm boxes. Pointless. And map was way overdone. See, that's the thing. There's there's a difference between... There's something I run into my job all the time with people wanting to make changes to things. There's there's better than the way it is, and then there's just different. And I see that as just different. Me. And I don't... I don't a lot of those UI overhaul mods just fuck with the fonts too much. And that's a thing I... That's, again, because I do this shit on every day on my day job. The, um... Like the hover state of some of the uh, the menu options, they're just they're just they're just out of place. They just janky is the only word I can come up with. And a lot of the information that displays by default is already already there. It's just displayed like stuff, differently. It's like man, I mean, gone. for me, it's probably what not anything like I'm ever going to use. Not one bit. Bottle caps, but we'll see. I mean, it's 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 all new, and that's the other thing. That stuff takes a while to mature, and the fact that anybody is actually able to hack the interface and make those changes is pretty noteworthy. Because it's not easy to mod the UI in this game, not like the older ones. Hmm. I still would like to see um, a darnified UI for this game. I would love. To, I would use darn UI in a heartbeat. If anyone came through here oh, recently. Excuse me, Heather. They haven't left a trace in all this. Excuse dust. me, Heather. Yes, please. I'll take all the caps. Sure. Alright. If we're gonna have a run, this is gonna be the place, yeah, we're gonna have uh, a friend right here. You have combat armor? You do not. All right. That makes me sad. Something's ghosting us. Over here. Over here. You are here. You are here. Oh shit. Wipe in the floor oh. with you. Oh, we hurt the dog. I think that hurt the dog, but we got him. We got him. We hurt my dog, though. Sorry, bud. Yes, the R91 mod is gone. That's another thing that makes me sad. See, I was hoping he would have... When I came through on my test run, my test playthrough, he had the, the, the commander spawn with one of those... Um, those plasma pistols. The new plasma, the advanced plasma pistol. Didn't have that this time around. Yeah, that, um... R91 got uh, taken down. For, I don't know why the author did that. That was just kind of annoying. 
Alright, we're clear now. Hmm. I don't want the flag. I want the ammunition. Yes, 5.56, five, please. Alright, so yeah, the gunners have another little camp here. Missiles. I really want the missiles. Kate, you take those missiles. Or Heather. Actually, I want the power armor pieces. I don't know if I'll use them, but we can sell them. On it. How much did she take? She took everything! Heather, you're amazing. Absolutely friggin' amazing. There should have been some food over here, too, that probably went flying. Yep. Excuse me, Kate. Kate, darling. I think it was down about maybe a month ago. It disappeared. I mean, if you have... You know, the only thing I can hope on that case is that they have a new one in the works. Oh, shit. But why would you take it down? People still download it. It was really nothing wrong with it. Hey, a blood pack. Um, yeah, I was um, a little disappointed that they took it down. Kate. March 13th? Yeah, it was semi-recently. Get it, Kate. Do it, Kate. Do it. Do it, Kate. She did it. Alright. I'll take the ammunition. I don't think there's anything else over here, right? No. Just the gas cans. I don't need the gas cans. Oh, thanks for posting that, Lilac. Yeah, I don't... It's it's annoying that they did that, but... that's their It's their choice. It's their mod. Do whatever they want with it. All right, let's unlock the terminal. Uh, the R91 assault rifle mod, that it, uh, the Fallout 3 assault rifle that I'm using. Yeah, I don't use many gun mods either. This is one of the few that I actually use. All right, so there he is. There's old Jonathan Mosley in his clean blue suit. And uh, here's the, the belongings. This was his stuff, apparently. Don't! Oh! Um, and before I... And this, this is a, a perfect example of why I always recommend to, number one, not... Don't use the automatic download button for your mod manager. The, um... The Nexus pages have the download button that installs it, automatically install, installs it into your mod manager. Number one, sometimes it doesn't just work. It may download the mod, but it, it might not properly install it. It's known to do that. I always suggest downloading the mod manually and then using the file, uh, install from file option. I think MO2, you can just drag the, drag the mod in. I think that's a thing you can do. Because it'll... A higher chance of installing properly, but also situations like this where the mod just disappears altogether. Download manually, archive it on, on a separate drive. That way, if a year and a half later you go to play the gaming and you find out the mod's gone, you got a backup. Yep, always keep backups. So I, I manually download all the mods and I do the file install as. Um, do it that way. Because, um,. There's, there's mods that I still like to use every once in a while that no longer exist on the Nexus. So, so what do we have here? We have a lab coat, which we're going to leave another Institute rifle. Fusion cells and key to the underground hideout. You now have the key to the, unlock the underground hideout. Yay! Inventory sorting container has been enabled next to the ladder in the hideout entranceway for you to sort and store your inventory after a long day of exploring the wasteland. Enjoy the new home. Yay. You know what? We'll take that. I hate to leave that behind. So we got the key. There's another sensor module. That's practically junk. Hmm. We don't need that. We need that. I've just... I've gotten burned in the past. Alright, I what's my carry away? I have enough to take a dust fan take that. I have enough to take that desk fan. So we'll take the desk fan. I don't, I'm not going to leave that one. Though, or I'm going to leave that one. I love it when... Uh, 
I'm gonna get this for the XP. When the container spawns is empty, and it says empty. Alright, let's get out of here and we'll check out our new house. What time we got here? Four hours? Okay. Alright, let's make a save here. What time is it anyway? Oh, it's plenty of time to get back to the house. We got everybody? Where's Kate? Come on, Kate. I don't remember which mod it was that disappeared. It was years ago. But there was a mod. I went, went back to reinstall the game and... Download all my mods again, and oh, that's... I think it was a settlement mod. It was back when I was doing the settlement thing, and it was a settlement mod that um, my save file depended on. That mod was no longer available, so guess what? I couldn't play that character anymore. I mean, I could have, but things would have been really bork, so... I started over. And I, I learned. I downloaded manually, and um, I've been running that problem ever since. So we got the house now. We got the house and dog found something. So let's... No, let's... Remove the marker. Let's head home. Let's head back towards the Bunker Hills. Head up back the way we came. Unlock the house. And get settled in. And then maybe we'll go pay a visit to the Children of the Atom. We're occupying my real estate at Kingsport Lighthouse. What a good boy. He found he found that stuff for me. Look how happy he is. Look how happy that boy is. What a good pooch. I'd love to get back home before dark. Home. Haven't even unlocked the place yet. I'm already calling it home. Alright. Cambridge Crater will go later. We'll do that later on. I wonder I wonder who by the name of Coconut Creamify could have made this wonderful trash can texture. We haven't seen any of your um, Protectrons yet today either, Coconut. We'll have to rectify that at some point. Can we go this way? No, let's go this way. It's so big and green. Looks like a rocket ship. I've always wondered what's in there. Big and green. Are you talking about green tech? She must be talking about green tech. Oh, yeah, I just discovered this. And the way you've been living in that home for months, yes. Uh, yes, you are correct, Speed Geezer. I 100% concur with that. I just I just discovered this when, actually when I was testing the mod. I came over here and like, oh, I've never actually been over here before. This likes, it, it wants to be something. There wants to be elevators or low doors or something here. Red Tech Genetics and the Green Rocket. <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Oh, we're right here. Okay. Can I trade with this person? I bet I can. I will totally not shoot you. You want to do some trading? I do. Yeah, who had time to put up the plywood on those doors? Uh, do I have junk? Uh, alarm clock. I got that for the nuclear material for the APC because I need the fuel. Uh, but we'll sell you all the wonder glues. I need the circuitry for this because I'm stocking up on stuff to make robot repair kits for when the time comes to get um, Codsworth and uh, Robot Curie. All right, we're gonna give uh, we're gonna give these desk fans a good home with this person here. The sensor modules will hang on to the silver lockets; so those can go. Souvenir coffee mugs. Let me get rid of those. Although this should probably go in honor of Muggy, we're just gonna get rid of them. Dirty army helmet, you can have that. Well, now we'll hang on to that one. Let's see what I might have here to get rid of anything. Think not. I think not. 
Okay, you won't buy weapons or ammo or anything. I'm okay with that. Robot repair? Oh, yes, I put them in the level list. Oh, sweet, they're showing up. Eric's Eric, Eric B. Lurkin. <laughs> How you doing, Eric? Well, thank you for the B. Lurkin. Good to see you, man. Yeah, I did put robot repair kits in the vendor list, so there's a very, very low chance of them spawning, so I wouldn't have to go and craft them as much. And they're showing up, and that makes me happy. They have like a 50% chance of, of showing up, and I'm very much happy with that. Cool. Why bother? That's just garbage. I talk. NS Toxie. Niz Toxie? I'm going to say Niz Toxie. How you doing? It? It's a robot repair kit. Kate, it is not junk. Ah, uh, we should go into the science center here. The gift, the gift shop. I'm not going to do it right now, but it's the uh, science center gift shop. We should go in there. For science. Hmm. Richie Marcus likes Meyer Lurk meat. Yardstick. We don't need a sneaking yardstick. Well, I think we'll go home. Get the place set up. Spend the night there. Spend our first night there. And then go say hello to the children of the Atom. And tell them to get the hell off my land. Get off my lawn. Uh, we'll go through Bunker Hill. Hey, Damien. Dinner. Oh, dinner sounds wonderful. What time is it? So I've been going for four hours now. I have maybe another hour to an hour and a half left in me, I think. And then I'm going to need to get dinner myself. All right, let's check back in with Deb. Cricket! All right, I, th I think we have some stuff to sell to Cricket. I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Gunner stuff. We're going to sell that. Okay, you have all of the power armor pieces. That's wonderful. Kate. You ever see one of our caravans on the road? It's a dice with death every time. Hmm. So you want that tour or not? Ten caps. No, will you quit bugging me about it? <laughs> Your loss. Okay. Can I help? Uh, I actually wanted to trade no Kate. No problem. Come on, Kate. The ghoul whale is real. Worth it. Old peg. Are they... Right outside the harbor. They're talking about the ghoul whale. Dark, ominous things swim the deep. They're talking about the ghoul whale. Have any goodies for me? I wish there was a ghoul whale in the game. Okay, you have that. Oh, I want to keep this stuff. Yeah, we that we can hang that up on the. Uh, uh, you know what? I want to keep that stuff. Actually, Kate doesn't need bottle caps. All right, that's good. Stick to the roads, and you come got on, a better chance of surviving. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. Yeah, Ghoul Whale would have been cool because there was actually, um, there's a, well, there's a couple of cut quests, but one of them, there was supposed to be an underwater vault. And there's actually Upward, assets. Every big purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up in your honor. There's actually assets in the game files for underwater vault. And, um, yeah, it was like, it was going to be called 20,000, or 20,000, it was basically take off on 20,000 leagues under the sea. But it was a, something with the under, underwater vault and a mo sea monster didn't happen. There was also supposed to be a cool quest for Diamond City where you had to restore the power. The Institute sabotaged the power in Diamond City and you had to restore it. That would have been very cool. But that got cut. And Salem was originally going to be two towns. And Salem and what the hell was the other one? I can't remember what it was going to be called. It's a, the real world towns, and in real life, there's a rivalry between the two towns. Oh, their uh, their sports teams and everything. A long story short, there was supposed to be a quest where there was a, a group of people. And I think they were supposed to be ghouls, and they had you know what's supposed to be magical powers, kind of along the lines of what uh, Oswald had in Nuka World. And there was a, a rival between the towns, and it involved these people with these powers, and that got cut. Springfield and Shelbyville? No, it was, um, God. It was in, if you guys have ever seen the no clip documentary on the history of Bethesda Game Studios, it was in that they were talking about it. 
I want to say it began with an N, but I don't think that's it. Yeah, it was Salem and some town right next to it. It wasn't one of those. It was literally right next to it. But no, another reason they cut it is because because of the way the map is compressed. The towns were, like, really, really close. They were, like, really one on top of each, each other. So the, the area that encompasses what Salem is now was the two towns. So... It just would have been cool to have Salem something other than what it is, which is basically nothing. Alright. Spike armor. So I haven't seen anybody spawn with combat armor yet, and that makes me a little sad. Alright, that's good. Welcome back. Looking to trade? We can finally have a moment. You may have to dig a little, but I got some choice stuff in there. Okay. Uh, I want to sell her the things that Cricket wouldn't buy. I'm going to keep... You know what? I'm going to sell that. Because Cricket wouldn't buy everything. Actually, I don't really have that much left. I want that for the circuitry. For the robot repair kits. You know, I actually think we're good. I bought all the ammunition from Deb that I wanted to get the last time, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Is is Kate trying to trying to do something there? Kate. Need something? You wanted to ask something. Um what's going on? Next person that asked me to shag is getting a well placed kick, if you get my meaning. Oh my. You and me versus the Commonwealth. I'd say those are damn good odds in our favor. Hmm. Yeah, see we're we're maxed out. No problem. Until we do her companion quest, that's the most we're gonna get. Ready to go, Heather? We're done. Actually, let's make another save here. Let me hear about cut content. I think, damn, the game would have been so much better having that. Uh, it seemed like they really wanted to remove good stuff from the. Well, it's because you know settlements. We we can't have that stuff because of settlements. And I'm not e I'm not even I'm not saying that because of my feelings about the settlement system. But it's it's true. Imagine if you had actual places to go and get quests from instead of building your own fun. If they put, if they cut these, the 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 building locations in half, and you had more places like the town of Far Harbor, imagine the quests and the things you could, the quests you could get, the people you could interact with. But nope. Once you get outside Diamond City, Bunker Hill, Covenant, Vault Eighty One, there's, there's, there's nothing. I think we just had rat stags, right? Yeah, just rat stags. Not death jaws. Oh, the places you could go. But think of all the all the resources, the development resources that could have gone into, you know, actual game content. Think about that. Especially considering how close together some of these settlement locations are. I mean, the Triangle of Death there, Sanctuary, Red Rocket, and Abernathy. I mean, you, if you build too much, the game crashes because they're so fucking close together. Like, why? Like this place. This place could have been, like, a little satellite hub because it's on the crossroad. Instead of, of this, imagine it was like a little satellite outpost for Bunker Hill. And it directed the, the trade caravans to go and do their thing. It could have been so much more. But no, we have to build shacks. Then Emil would have to write something, I know. Not really, because, you know, people would just rip it out and make paper airplanes out of it. Alright. Let's, um, let's, you know what I'm gonna do? Since I am going to do the, uh, Abernathy quest... There's anything worthwhile here. There is not. Let's see how far the um, the Finchnator. I'm um, that Abernathy. The Finch Farm quest. I'm gonna do the Finch Farm quest. We already did the Abernathy quest. Let's see how far the Finchnator actually chases me. We'll we'll give him a workout again. Where is he here? He back on the porch. We'll let him chase us a little bit. Oh. 
They're shooting something. What are you guys shooting? Oh, bugs! We'll let them take care of the bugs. There's a bloat fly over there. There's a bloaty fly. Let's let them take care of that. Can I get him? We'll help him out. Alright, let's, uh... See if he wants to come over and force greet me. We'll, we'll make. Yeah, here he comes. Come on, we'll give him a workout, and then we'll then we'll then we'll let him give us the quest. Here he comes, everybody. That's the Finchinator. There he is. Look at him go. I'm stuck in a rock. Where is he? Come on. Oh no, he's almost got me. Ah, help! The Finchinator. Relentless. Let's see how far he chases me this time. Look at him go. <laughs> It's the Finchinator! Uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the fucking car. Look at him! Oh! He got. Come, come on! Come on, neighbor. No, that's as far as he'll go. Alright. So that's as far as he'll go there. <laughs> there he is! Oh, we'll, 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 t we'll show you who Emil is. Emil, Emil Pagularillo. The lead creative director at Bethesda Game Studios. Yeah, look, okay, so yeah. We'll, we'll bait him. I think this is about where he turned around last time. He's so, so desperate to give me this quest. We'll introduce you to Emil in a minute here. I just want to see how far. <laughs> look at him! <laughs> Can we bring him to Bunker Hill? Will he follow me to fucking Bunker Hill? Oh my god. He's still... He's like the fucking Energizer Bunny. Look at him! I'm Energizer Bunny. Come on. Come on. Whoop. Come on, Abraham. Let's go to Bunker Hill. Can we quit sucking down rads? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, did it. There he is. Come on. You know you want to go to Bunker Hill, right? Yep, look at him. Hey, Vic! Vic, you're just in time! Look! Look who it is! It's the Finchinator! And we're gonna go all the way to Bunker Hill, I think. <laughs> How's it going, Vic? How's Wally doing? Oh shit, we got muties. Hey! You! Oh, sorry. <laughs> How's it going, Vic? Oh, okay. Uh, he gave up. The muty scared him off. Where the hell is he? Uh, did he? There he is. I want to. I want to see how far he'll follow me. Hey, Marvel fan, how you doing? Come on, Abraham. You want to go to Bunker? You want to go to Bunker Hill, right? I know you do. I heard it in your voice. Ah. That's it. I think I missed my opportunity. We got him past... We all got him almost to Bunker Hill. No. <laughs> he won't talk to me now. Now, who, Yeah, exactly. He won't talk to me now. I missed my chance. Yep. He said, fuck you, I'm not talking to you now. You're back, huh? That bastard son of my <laughs> snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. He tried to force greet me when those super mutants were back there, and that was it. I lost my opportunity. I wanted to bring them all the fucking way to Bunker Hill. The mutants were not there. We literally just came through there, and it was, um, it was Rad Stags. Um, well, at least we know, theoretically, he would have followed me all the way to Bunker Hill, if it wasn't for that random encounter with the muties. Um, industrial buildings are pretty dangerous. I see what you're getting at. 200 caps if you can bring it back for me. Sounds like this isn't the normal group of raiders either, as much as I hate raiders. 
You're gonna have to any some more some more caps, I think. All right, all right. How's 250 caps out? You know, I bet a weapon like that is worth a lot more on its own, or in a museum. You want my shirt while you're at it? Fine, 400, but not a single cap more. Hmm. So what about your son? Don't you care? Kate. Kate, darling. Oh, Kate. I know she. I know you need attention. You're very needy, but um, what about your son? Don't you care what happens to him? I mean, he's your son. I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm okay. concerned, he's dead to me. What can you tell me about this forged? They're led by a guy named Slag. Came in from outside of the Commonwealth a few months back and started recruiting. Mostly, they've just been strong armored folks. But with how quick they've been growing, it's just a matter of time till the raids get worse. Hmm. What kind of sword am I looking for? One of them old pre-war swords, rigged up to shoot flames from the blade. Probably why Jake thought they'd let him join. So, what do you say? Pre-war sword? Old school. Maybe you've seen it? Alright, um... I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor. And I'll make it up to you as best as I can. Okay. Alright, we're gonna make a save here. So, theoretically, he would have followed me all the way to Bunker Hill. All the way to Bunker Hill. So, someone asked, who, who's Emil? Who is this Emil of which you speak? Let me find you aren't the Emil button. Granddad saw it just standing around. Here we go. This is a yes, Emil Pegularil, ladies and gentlemen, lead creative director at Bethesda Game Studios. Mister Keep It Keep It Simple Stupid. Yes. If you ever wonder why the writing in Fallout 4 is the way it is, that's the reason. What are you waiting for? Saga yes. Ironworks is just over there. Um, let me just make sure this is turned off here. So, I just saw Mad Dog showed up. How you doing, Mad Dog? Do you, do you see where we are? Give me one second. Is this off? Okay, that's off. Mad Dog, look who we have here. Those forged a kick for me. Look who we have. And look where we are. <laughs> we were all, we were actually on, almost a Bunker Hill. We were literally almost a Bunker Hill. And right at the bridge, I ran into some super mutants. And he force greeted me and broke it. But yeah, we were going to try and keep him... We are going to try and, and bait the Finchinator all the way over to, um... To Bunker Hill. And he was going to... He was he was falling for the bait. It's almost there. Apparently, Emil's son was a quality assurance tester for 76. Is that actually true? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that explains a lot. Oh my. But yes. Yes. Keep it simple, stupid. Don't write the story because people are just going to be building shacks. Oh my. Oh, thanks for posting that, Lilac. How you doing, Mad Dog? Yeah, the Finchinator. We we uh, we baited him all the way down to, <laughs> to Bunker Hill almost. And the fucking muties ruined it. That would have been glorious. Alright. But yep. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it stupid, simple. Exactly. Why write a story with plot, depth, consequences? Eh, people are just going to be building shacks for 40 hours. Don't bother. They'll be building their own fun. But it's just about time for us to end up uh, back at our house. Yeah, and he... Here, here, here lies poor Mac. Mac will not s live to see his bar flourish to many, many franchises around the Commonwealth. No, he was done in by ferals. Oh. Hey, Yusuf, how you doing? Fallout 3, where's my dad? Fallout New Vegas, where's the guy that shot me in the head? Fallout 4, where's my kid? Fallout 76, where's my refund? Alright, let's go into our wonderful new little home.
Um, Heather. We need to have Heather stay here temporarily. On it. Okay. And then we will summon Heather in... Uh, we will summon Heather hither momentarily. Just until I get the door open anyway. Hey, no worries, Mad Dog. No worries. I completely understand. That's what VODs are for. We just finished the quest to get the uh, get the hideout. We're just gonna go in and lock it. All right, now we can summon Heather. Nice spot for a last summon. Night. Heather has been cast. We have our uh, sorting container. Let's go uh, unlock the thing and get rid of those rads with the rad shower. Boom. I actually have stuff in here. It's gonna make me. Really you might want to think it? about dropping some of that craft you're carrying. Yes, actually, you know what? We have a magic sorting container here that will sort the things. Just to get the stuff I don't need. Weapons. Fusion cores, mini nuke. I just want to get myself underweight here. Sorting container puts everything in the proper containers. And I can go and deal with it later on. I just want to get underweight here. That's good. Alright. Yay, we got a house. Yeah, if you're out over encumbered, you just drop the stuff in there. Now, we should get the uh, notification here about the uh, decorations. Yay! Decorative items have been added. So, we'll have to go in the armory and see what we got for the quest we've done already. Very important. Lilac! If you're still here, Lilac, look at this. A proper teddy bear on the dog bed. It's proper teddy bear number one. Come here, boy. Oh. Woof. Come on, boy. Let's do that. Proper teddy bear number two. It's right there on the shelf. <laughs> yep, underground hideout. We finally unlocked it. And the other little change I've made for myself... I got the frickin' hula girl. And the radio. Turn that on. Or the, uh, the, the actual jukebox. So, um, and the hula girl. I was expecting this place to be filthy. Alright, I do have a few bobbleheads. Let's put the bobbleheads up here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. So I don't get, um... I don't want the thing to get muted or anything. On the YouTube on the Twitters or the YouTubes. Uh, bobbleheads. Let's put our bobbleheads up here. Then we have to go and get rid of the mag the magazines. I did get a, a list. A printout. A checklist for the uh, the magazines and the boobleheads. So then when we get our boobleheads and everything together, I can check those off the list. We got a lot of magazines. Holy shit. Is that only the bobblehead? Yeah, that is all the bobbleheads I got. Double check. Picking up the list. Perception. I should put intelligence on here now. Or um speech. Yep, that's it. I got them. Got them all. It does have the giddy up bitter cup, absolutely. Hideout of the underground. Alright. I don't have any dirty water, right? I have no dirty water. Nope. How much purified do I have? I only have eight. I'm going to keep those on me for now. All right. First off, let's hit the infirmary. Let's get rid of the disease because I have insomnia. Let's get rid of that. And then we're going to do the health. Heal myself. All right. 
and light switch. Light switch. Uh, I'll come. I'll go through and get the containers and stuff later. Let's um let's sort everything out here first. And take back the things. Just to kind of thin out my inventory a little bit. If only Insomnia were that easy. I know, right? Vidya Games. We only wanted a cap of those. Take a buff out. We'll take one of each. Mavex, I'll take those. I'll take all those. No, I'm going to take two stealth boys. I'll leave one there. Um, one of each. Now that I have access to the infirmary, I'm not going to be using antibiotics as much. Um, I'm going to take the robot repair kit. Because I may be getting a robot companion next time around. Let's go turn on the, the cave lights. There. What else we got? Let's go down to the armory. Anything I need to do here? Mm. Oh! Very important. Oh. You guys. Did you put these there before? What these there where? Dr. Zimmer's prototype. Increased energy damage with a chance to freeze the target at the cost of reduced ammo. Yes. The chems and stealth boys? No. They, I sorted them. There's a sorter. You press the sort button, it puts them all uh, out of your inventory into the containers. Aquarium. Most important aspect. The light. And the hidden safe. Yay! We have a technical document. Which we don't have anybody to give to yet. Did that stuff have the same? I think that loot that spawned with the same stuff. Yeah, the aquarium. And I'm over in cucumber. Yeah, there's an aquarium. With a light. You turn the light on and off. We'll leave it off for now. Yep. Just like the original mod. Uh, I'm over in Cumber, but I'm actually going to go sell some of this stuff that I just, just grabbed. Because there is a comm commissary terminal. And then we'll head down to the armory. Fish tank with a dead muggy. <laughs> oh no! Dead, dead Securitron, never a dead muggy. Um, Alright. That. Get rid of one of those. We're not going to sell the gainer. Hmm. I have a lot of bottles. I have lots of bottles. You know what? You can have those. Hmm. All right, that's good now. All right. All right, come on, Doge. Let's head down to the armory. Oh, it's almost break time. Yay, they actually spawned in. Cool. So we got armor display. Oh, we gotta go change in the female first. What am I thinking? Alright, the most important, important place in the entire house. The armory. Okay. I think while I'm on the terminal here, let's, uh, we have, uh... Journals, yeah. The short of the story, the background I, I made for the place is, um... Neurohotep, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome. Um, 
Appreciate that. The backstory is Dr. Zimmer. Yes, that Dr. Zimmer. This was his kind of little getaway from father. Him and father didn't get along too well. So this was his little hideaway. And when he went on his very special mission to the to the Capital Wasteland, he left his, left his assistant in charge of the place. And that was his assistant, Jonathan, that we um that we ran into in the subway. That's where we got the key from. So I just changed the gender for the armor displays to female, and we're going to adopt the cat. we got to have a cat. Sydney the cat can come and live with you at the hideout. She's disabled. I want my damn cat. So, yes. All right. So, there's our, yes, our cryolator sorted. Yay, we have the cryolator case. All is right with the world. Um, all right. Before we get too crazy with the cheese whiz here. What you need? This is my favorite part of the job. Okay. And then I want to catch up on chat stuff here, too. I want to clean out companions' inventories first. Like, Kate does not eat, need eight missiles. She doesn't need any of this stuff. What does she have now? She has the handmade rifle. That's good. She can keep using that. Heather. I'm ready. Show me what you've got. Okay, and you have... We're going to let Heather keep using the minigun for now. Oh, yes, the power armor pieces. We're going to go and sort this stuff through. There is a sorting button for things over on the wall, but we're going to do it uh, manually for now because I don't want to sort all my inventory. When I come home and want to clean out my inventory, I'll use that stuff. But for now, we're going to limp over here. Actually, let's do this first. What I wanted to do... Put a couple of these outfits on here, like um, that one... Do we have New Vegas mods? I have a... Well, I have... This is mostly a Fallout 3 style a theme playthrough, so I don't have a lot of New Vegas stuff. The only New Vegas thing I really have is that the Capital Wasteland team's Gecko mod. But I've removed the Gecko spawns. So it's just the clothing that, uh, that it adds. So kind of yes, but not really. I do have plans for a New Vegas theme playthrough. Alright, we're going to manually sort out some of this stuff here. Alright, uh, that's going to be for Codsworth. Oh, I want to sell that. Alright, power armor. Let's get rid of that. Um, for now, I'm going to put this stuff. We'll just sort this stuff out. I will deal with this at a later date. I do have bottles, though. Um... Let me go through this a little bit of inventory maintenance. I will catch up on chat. It's going to be break time here, too, so we need to do that. We have that to look forward to. I just want to get rid of some of this excess ammunition. Get that carry weight down. Actually, I don't need any of that. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I am okay with that, but let's see what we got in here. Now that I'll have to go put in the fridge. Uh, yeah, we'll go put all that stuff in the fridge manually so that it gets ice cold. Yeah, I think after, um, if we end up here tonight, I will go and craft those robot repair kits. Um, let me see. Let me catch up on chat. Let me make a save here. And we'll catch up on chat. Um. So, yeah, uh, long story short, I, I don't have a whole lot of... A new Ve no, no, I'm not going to be using my New Vegas character. He was actually a Fallout 3 character. No, I have a completely different plans for a New Vegas themed playthrough. Which I'm not going to go into now because that's a long way away, but... I, I have some ideas that are going to be some some kind of a playthrough I've never done before. All right, so let's stock the shelves. I have no grenades. So 
everything that can be, yeah, we have um, 10 millimeter rounds, 38 caliber, everything is starting to fill in beautifully. Nice. All right. Um, let's go put some guns on the wall here. Heavy weapons, that's it. All right, let's go put a few guns on the wall. Just so we can decorate the decorate our new house a little bit. Okay, that's a short rack. I hate right moving into a place and having empty walls. Um, let's find a short one over here. Yes. Put the gainer over here. Is that everything? No, I got caravan shotguns. Which I only need one. Okay, we'll put that one back. Okay. Alright. Next thing. Oh, let's go to the decorations that we have. So we have, uh, yeah, the, the, the Pikmin painting. We did the Pikmin's Gallery quest already, so that showed up. We rescued Nick Valentine. So we got the Nick Valentine sign. And the uh, the library books. Because we did Daisy's quest already. So those... I'm pretty sure that's all we got done that has... Um, let's see here. We have to still... I have to go talk to Nick still about that. Yeah, that's everything. Everything that we have that has a decoration for is enabled. And the next thing that we have to do is... Um, the whole Cabot House quest line. Once we finish Secret of Cabot House, the um, Cabot House plaque should show up on the wall when we kill Kellogg. Spoilers. We'll get his gun on the wall there. And yeah, we've got um, the bobbleheads we put in the shelf show up down here. They're static duplicates. And we have, oh yeah, Lilac. Another proper teddy bear. Another proper teddy bear. Every quest we complete gets a themed um, item. Not every quest. I think... Uh, I don't remember how many are, there are. Well, it's on the mod page. Which like one is that so here? Clean. I couldn't do every quest. There's no way I could do every quest. Um, but there's... Is that... Yes. That's the link to the mod page. It lists... It tells you... The readme tells you exactly what quests... Um, have items for, but it's like the New Vegas version of Underground Hideout. As you progress through the game, things get added to your wall. Um, the DLC, uh, Nuka World, Automatron, Far Harbor will have things. This entire wall here is going to have things. This is mostly where the faction flags are going to go. Since we're not doing the Minutemen, I'm probably going to manually activate that at some point um, with the terminal. I'll do that on stream, though. So this entire area here will be decorations. And these two shelves over here will be decorations. But we have to do all that stuff yet. Power armor is in here. And Kate's kind of sitting in the chair. Kind of not. But yeah, there's, there's a bunch of quests that as you complete them, you'll get decorations. And because I already did those... Before I um, All it takes is a steady hand, eh? before I activated the house, before I got ownership of the house, uh, once you walk in the first time, there's a trigger box that checks to see which quest you completed and activates the appropriate uh, decoration cell. So if you've already done all the quests on the list and you install the mod, the first time you come in, you'll come down and all that stuff will be on the wall for you. Is there anything I need to do in here? You know what? Let's go do that. Um, let's go do the Minutemen thing now. I'll show, show you guys that. I showed it before. Well, here's the react, the quote reactor room. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of static. I'll go through these um, containers later on. But since we're not doing the Minutemen stuff, Preston's not leaving the museum. Uh, I don't want a big empty wall there. So let's just pretend that we actually talked to, to Preston, even though we didn't. If there's a quest you don't want to do or something for whatever reason doesn't disable, a quest gets bugged or whatever, you can come in here and manually activate them. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm gonna gonna turn the Minutemen on right now. I don't want the empty wall, empty big spot. So there we go. We have now have the Minutemen flag. So 
So there we go. So now we'll have to legit go meet all the other, um, other factions. Uh, magazines. Let's put some magazines away, then I desperately need to take a break. And we need to go do some, some other stuff. Because I'll do a lot of the, uh, other stuff here. Off stream. I want to get the magazines in here. So there's room for 220 magazines. Soy, soy Fua. Thank you very much for that follow. Appreciate that. Welcome. Oh, cool. Did you hear that? Whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. And I want to catch up on chat before we go on break too. I gotta get some water. There was one that kicked back to me. I think it kicked back. Uh, yeah, Wasteland Survival Guide. Did it? I think that's it. Yay. So we've got the first rack build up. We got all these other ones and plus the rotate ones here. Uh, let's make a save. And um, let's catch up on chat real quick. You guys talking about settlement building? So, disclaimer, I used to... I... I... I tried the settlement building, but I didn't inhale. My first two playthroughs, I didn't know what the hell to do with it. First playthrough, I didn't touch it. The game told me to make Mama Murphy a chair, so I made Mama Murphy a chair, and that was pretty much it. I kind of did uh, did a few runs with settlements, and it was like, eh. And then the mods started coming out, and it's like, okay, well, maybe this is better-ish. And then it just wasn't, so. I built some pretty big-ass settlements, and then Transfer Settlements came out. With the blueprints, I said, "Well, screw that." I made, I, I spent one playthrough making really, really, what I considered at the time nice settlements, and I just recycled them because I, I didn't like spending the time to go through and. Yeah, I know there's sim settlements, but that just swaps out one set of headaches for another. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool what they've done with it, but it's just nothing I'm interested in. Too too much scripted overhead too. I did try. I did try it. I mean, I, I did the conqueror thing a couple playthroughs ago. It just wasn't. Um, it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted pre-existing settlements I could discover and find in the world, and it just wasn't what at all what I wanted. So, it's it's more. It still it still requires you to be involved in the whole goofy thing, and I have no interest in it. Um, but I, I I did do the thing for a while. And I just got incredibly bored with it. It's like you know. I'm gonna make player homes. <laughs> I want I want my pre-decorated stuff. I can just go in, live in, and do the things I want to do, and call it done. Uh, Nyre says, effectively use the game as a shooter, looter, and city builder. To be honest, Sim Settlements isn't much your vibe either. So that's the thing. You know, it's like you can play the game any way you want. I'm just not into the building at all. I just don't think the building really has a place in an RPG, personally. I like playing the RPG elements. Well, which whichever ones are left in the game. Um, I just... I just don't think that you should, you know, go get the locket back for the Abernathys and they give you the deed to their property. It just seems kind of goofy to me. I don't know. It's just a me thing, I guess. Because, I mean, like, Fallout 3, if you... If you once, once you once you go uh, save um, Big Town, you get a reward and you go on your way. You don't... Oh, here, here's... Take our land, move in, scrap everything, invite your friends. Nah, it's just kind of, kind of dumb. Um, can't you do that with Conquer? Have the factions all be friendly and settlements to. Th See, I, I, I tried. I have no interest in any of that other stuff that that Conquer had. I just wanted existing settlements that I could just walk into, trade. That they were already there in the world, and they're just, they're just settlements like any other thing, and you get. Radiant quests and Minutemen quests. It's like, I don't want that. Just didn't want it. And honestly, to be perfectly honest, I'm not a fan of that shack aesthetic that the city plans use. I don't think they look particularly good. Not a fan. I don't like the aesthetics at all. Uh, I wanted some some stuff here to sell. Oh, come on, there, there, you, you, you think you'd think that by this time after the war, people would be building with think, something other than that. Just no. Alright, let's do this. 
Speakeasy is using sim settlements to rebuild the con uh, to rebuild most of the settlements. See, I I tried that. I just I didn't like it. Wasn't for me. All right, we're gonna do. But by the by, you know, I keep saying what they've done. The capability to have that in the game is pretty fuck. That's not a workbench, you it? What they've done to have that capability in the game is pretty cool. But I'm uh, I'm just not uh, I'm not in that mindset anymore. Uh, that's not what I want. We want that. All right. What we're gonna do right now? What time we got here? I got about another hour before I have to call it quits. So let's do this. Um, we're gonna take a break. Actually, yeah, we're going to take a break. Then I think we're going to spend our first night in our lovely new home since it's 8.30. And then it's time to go kick the children of Adam off my property. I'm claiming Kingsport Lighthouse in the name of the Vaultborn. So I can have a place to dock my boat and drive my APC to. Mostly to dock my boat. So we're going to go and say hello to them and very possibly die. Very possibly that they're they're pretty high. Every time I've gone over, there's always been uh, enemies with big red skulls next to their names. So, but we're gonna kick them off their off their prop off my property, and then we'll uh, we'll see what time that is. Maybe we'll head up and do the Jack Cabot quest since we're not very far. We have to go up and talk to Maria at the Insane Asylum. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. But right now it is break time. So grab what you gotta grab. Do what you gotta do. I'm going to make a little save here and reboot the game while I'm on break. So, I'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes. Here's my scrolly thing. Biggest problem with settlements and the Minutemen goes back to the Emil Stupid. Everything is yes and you cannot opt out design feature. No choice. Yes. We ran into that with the, um, the Abernathy quest yesterday. At Abernathy Farm. We asked Mr. Abernathy, um... Uh, do you know where the raiders are coming from? And you say, yeah, they're coming up from the satellite station. And we got the quest. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, I, I just asked where they were coming from. I didn't say I would go get them. I want to know where they're coming from. Because maybe it's on my way. Maybe it's out of the way. Maybe it's not. I didn't say I was going to go get them. I just want to know where they are. But we got the quest. Hey, Van Allen, you have a good night. Get some sleep. Take care of yourself. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Good to see you. You have a good night. But yeah, yeah, I, I didn't ask to get them. Like when, um, you know, Preston wants to tell you his life story, and you say, "Garvey, I don't want to hear your life story." Oh, but hear me out. See, it's like when people start off with, "Oh, but hear me out," I don't hear them out. <laughs> I don't want to hear them out. <laughs> oh, but hear me out. No, Preston. No. What part of no do you not understand? Um. All right. Let's. But yeah, that's that. 265. Alright. Yeah, maybe you just want to avoid them, not necessarily solve the problem. Exactly. Exactly. I'd rather see you out, Preston. <laughs> uh, it's just like, yeah, it's like, you know, there, 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 there's a lot in this game like that. It's like, well, I didn't say I would do the thing. You're just assuming I would do the thing, and you gave me the quest. Oh, that's a thing that happens. That was a thing. I loaded in the cell, the door was open, and there was no room there. Alright, that's awesome. Alright. It just works, everybody. Um, I don't want to sleep quite that long. Actually, I do. Yeah, there we go, 11 hours. I've had that a couple times. I load into the cell, the door's open, and the entire room doesn't render in. Something with the previs is wonky. Sometime. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I've had it. That's the second time I've had it. Like, this door doesn't shut. And when you load into the cell, the door... It's like the game doesn't render the entire room. Close the door and open it back up and it's fine. It just works. Okay. Let's get rid of those rads. Yeah, I've never had that in another house. I don't know. Hog of the door, it just works. Yeah, yeah, that's the um uh, the the better weight menu uses the vault girl animation. Oh, hazmat suit. 
I mentioned I wanted a hazmat suit earlier. There's a hazmat suit. Um, alright, so what are we doing? I think we have water, breakfast, we've been deratted. We're gonna go over to Kingsport Lighthouse and kick those frickin' children of Adam off my property. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, there's Mo there's Sydney so the cat. A place like this so there's clean. Sydney. Sydney's doing her thing. Come on, Kate, let's go, darling. Right there, Heather. Let's go. I'm gonna have to build the turrets here soon, too. I want my turrets. Oh, what a beautiful, clear day to go kill some children of Adam. Oh! And there's Kate. I remember there's mines up here too. There's. I almost blew up me and the dog. Something tells me these people don't want visitors. I don't have any freaking frag grenades either, do I? Nope. I have Molotovs, that's it. Yeah, some of my houses are even too big for me, Mad Dog. That's why I don't, I don't use them as much. Like the condo, the I, I, I had fun making that good neighbor house. It's just too big. My tastes have changed since I built that. Um, there's a couple of them I've only used a couple once or twice. I do like the smaller places, but sometimes you gotta think big. But I've learned so much about mod making since I did that. That. Um, Good neighbor mod. I would do things a lot differently if I were to ever do that again. Not that I'm going to. I have no intention of redoing that mod, but... I would do a lot of things differently. Oh, shit. Good job, Leadfoot. Why don't I just shoot us both in the head now and save us the trouble? <laughs> I've never heard her say that! I've never, never heard her say that. Not once. I've never heard Kate say that before. Oh Christ, that truck's gonna blow up. I've never fucking heard Kate say that before. Kate, you never... Oh, uh, Say what you want about the game and never... Every freaking time I play, something new. Something wonderful like that. That was amazing. Yeah, Ellie does make some nice, cozy little help. Yeah, it, like, that Far Harbor shack that I use of hers wouldn't change a thing. Actually, I did change a thing. I made a... I linked... I did a trash compactor. That was it. It was the only thing I added. I've used her... I've used, um... Like, her 30-yard bunker. I love that. I've used that in Frost. A couple other playthroughs before I started streaming and doing this stuff. Yeah. How do you find the key? Oh, the, sh the shack? Oh, her Far Harbor shack? There, it's, um... There's a little island, and I think it, it, it shows you in the description. There's something in the description. There's, oh, shit. There's, um, an island with a glowing... It's basically a larger, more dangerous version of the Red Death. And you have to go and kill this... Oh, shit! Larger, more dangerous version of the Red Death. And then that, and, and then there's a corpse over there that has the key. Oh, shit! All right, we're, we're we're gonna do the thing here. We're gonna take some Radak. I should have the. Mm. Here we go. Here comes Ron, everybody. Fuck! I didn't get any Radax. God damn it! I took the right away. I I thought I took the Radax back out. Son of a bitch! Damn it. Alright. I don't have any Radex. Alright. 
Oh, you got um, got some marine armor, don't you? There's another one in the house over here. I'm stuck on the fucking fence and the dog. Wonderful. I think there's another one in the house. Oh shit! Oh Jesus! All right, I'm gonna have to take a right away. Where are you? Okay, you're down. Okay, that and that. Mm, we'll, we'll loot everybody later. We gotta. One down in the dock, too. He is coming with the clouds. Yeah, see, they all got fucking red skulls. Oh, shit. You bastard. All of them got the red skulls. I cannot shoot from up here. Look at this. I can hit him. I can actually... Oh, he just went down. Got him. And we leveled up. Nice. Alright. Let's, um... We'll let them handle what's down there. And we'll handle what's up here. Uh oh. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. Damn it. Oh no, there Hope goes my you gun. Saved your game. <laughs> Cause you're dead. Alright, new strategy. Shit. I'm going to put some mines on the... Are we still in the house? I'm going to get some right away. So fucking close. We did so well. Imagine not bringing Radex. 2021 in this economy. I was expecting this place to... Be filthy. All right, let's try this again. Ah, oh, damn it, we were so close. I was thinking I probably should save. And I didn't. I didn't. That's two runs tonight. Boy, Crunch is going to be pissed. And now it's raining. It was not raining before, but it is now. Crunch is going to be pissed. I don't have any frags. I don't have any in storage. I, I have I have them like either back at the APC or at um, home plate. I have none. Oh, where did you come from? Nuke mine hey, steel. I don't see anyone's name on it. <laughs> Harvey's nuke mine. Um, yeah, I have the two Molotovs and that's it. I probably. I want to put a couple mines on that um, walkway before I open up and let the glowing one out. It's probably a thing I should do. Okay, I don't know where that other frag mine was that I set off before. See that one. Before 
before we engage, I'm going to save again. Oh, there's one over here. Maybe this is the one I hit. What? what? Alright, let's make a save here. I don't want to go and do that all over again. You know what? Let's do this. I have... Probably could take some jet too at some point. I have the psychos and the medics. We'll take those. I need not search for answers. Adam will reveal all. Adam will reveal all, everyone. I need some tactical armor. Here, take this. It's on me. You'll like it. Trust me. Adam will protect me. Adam will give me all the protection I need. Where are they? Who? Huh? What? 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 Huh? It was nothing. It was nothing. Just Adam testing my resolve. Adam testing my that's what? exactly it. Is someone testing my faith? Yes, yes they are. I am I am the vault born. I am testing your faith in Adam. Absolutely. He is coming with the clouds, everyone! You heard it here first. Oh shit, there's two of them in there. We're... Oh shit! Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate <laughs> wind. May you find more peace in that world than you found yep. in this one. My, because my vision was all blurred, I couldn't see him. It's round number boy crunch is gonna be pissed. He's gonna be so pissed he missed all these runs. Adam loved that. I'm sure he did. Just the Nothing to warrant Adam's fury. Nothing to warrant Adam's fury, everyone. Crunch hated that. <laughs> for the bits, mad doc. Or Duckert. Thank you for the bits, Duckert. I almost did it. Almost did it. I'm looking at the chat. Up. I almost did that. Thanks, Deckard. You guys aren't going to tell Crunch about this, right? You're not going to tell them that he missed three runs? Nice try. Where are you? Is that you, Is that you Adam? Sister. Come on, you son of a bitch. Stay still. Okay, you're down. Don't let them handle them. Are you fucking kidding me? Time to reload. Are you actually f the truck blew up outside and it got me in the house? Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> I told you guys, every one of these guys has a red skull. Every single one of them has a red fucking skull. I'm at level 16. The shockwave imploded my lungs, I guess so. Holy shit. All right, Adam is definitely testing me. That's for damn sure. Holy shit! I didn't die this many times the last time. I think I was. I think I may have been like a couple levels higher when I came in here, though. All right. Don't go in the house. Just don't go in the house. No, there was th three rounds. We've got three. We're, oh, there's there you are right there. I 
something to hurt my damn dog. Okay, there's you. Where's your friends? Well, how about um, a little bit more there, Kate? Oh shit! Die! Would you please die? Okay. Damn. Yep, let's make a save here. Absolutely. fucking lootly I don't want to do this all night long. I shall drag you back into the light. Yes, drag me. I like being dragged. I'm into dragging. I'll before the chosen. Where are the ones down here? Let's go see if I can take care of them first. It's usually one on the boat. I did, did I take the Psycho and Jet already? I did not. I did not. We'll do that again. Oh, I'm sorry, the Medics. Right, let's take some Jet here. Why not? I haven't taken any Jet this playthrough. Yeah. So there's our level up. That one down there. Where are you? Still up there? Foolish. I need that jump at shadows. Adam, protect. The jet will make you jettery. You're up there. What? What? It couldn't be. It couldn't be. Could not be. Who's there? You thought to deceive the faithful? I, I just saw you were just kind of stuck there. Wash away your suffering in Adam's glow. Oh, there's another one around here somewhere. There you are. Oh, there's another one down here. Alright, let's try this. We'll let them take care of the one down there. I'll go say hello to the glowing one again. First crack at the gear. Oh, you bastard. I always forget about this damn thing. Alright. Let's drop... A few of these. And try not to blow myself up, because that is something I would never, ever have done. I've never blown myself up with my own damn minds. Not once. Right, I'm going to save again here, too. I've wanted to come up here since I was a little kid. Lock and load. Look out, Heather. Oh shit. Yep. What did I tell ya? Oh, what the f <sighs> Heather's got him. Are you actually fucking <laughs> Here's a picture of your corpse. Not pretty. Oh boy. Damn it! Crunch is gonna be yeah. Crunch is gonna be fucking pissed. 
I've wanted to come up here since I was a little kid. Oh, Heather. In case he gets past Heather, let's put a few more of these down here. Shoot his legs off. Get him, Heather. There we go. Is that it? No, it's not it. I don't think. Did you get? Did you guys get the one down below here? No. No, we have one more. We'll reveal all in time. Still got one more. We got a lot of loot here too. I know not. Not searching. All right, is Kate down? Where the hell's Kate? This other one is. I need not be afraid. Hey, there's dog meat. Adam drives away the famous voice. Where the hell's Kate? Oh shit. Where the hell is this? Oh, there he is. Down he goes. There we go. Kate, where the hell are you? Kate's having a psycho flashback somewhere. I think you're right. Is that it? We're done? We got them all? That only took how many times? Yay. Man, I hate the rain. At least it's not raining, Heather. All right. Let's, um... Ah, uh, thank you for the bits, can do. Appreciate that. Have a good night, Whiskey. Take care, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I think it's a boss trunk up here. Let's go see what's in there. Finally! Oh no, the traitor! Take the ammunition. I mean, I'll just take all the stuff. I can sell it. All right, we're gonna do the level up, and then I gotta save it. Thanks for the clip, Mad Dog. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, hacking is up there. All right, medicine, we can get up to 55. I probably might want to put... You know what, let's bring Sneak up to 25. And, um... Probably should start putting some in the pistols. But you know what, let's put the rest in the hacking. All right. Perkage. What do we want? Bands! Two vans! Blood Belly 3, Lone Wanderer 2. Probably could put Lone Wanderer. Um, can I do Raid Resistant or Strong Back? Oh, I took Strong Back already. I took Strong Back too. Let's do Raid Resistant 2. Now, uh, plus 20 Raid Resistance, because I was getting my ass kicked there with those Gamma Guns. Alright. Wow. That was something. And if they could, would it be a cool baby? Or a regular human baby? Oh, the, are you talking about the fat man at um, Far Harbor there, Deckard? Yeah, that was, um... That was a thing. <laughs> and the thing about the... the the, yeah, the, the, the one with the fat man and uh, Far Harbor is I knew he was there. I knew he had a fat man. I freaking knew he, the guy had a fat man from the last time I played. 
because I got there. I got killed at the same spot. Hmm? I probably should have had her. And here I thought you wanted to snuggle. I probably should just had her loot this. Got the, they have all this uh, marine armor. All right, let's go. Uh, it's loot time, like Heather would say. There may or may not be some more mines around here still, too. Wow, it's dark. Nine o'clock in the morning, and it's this friggin' dark. Oh, there's a little bit of a texture issue there. Physics. Physics, everyone. But does the physics. Take that for sale. What did you have? Auto caps. Sell that. Where are all the other dead ones? Is there one over here? Or was that one of the previous uh, attempts? That, yeah, I think that was one of the previous attempts. Well, we can dock the red wave here now and bring the APC up. Physics. <laughs> Oops. There's at least one more that I'm missing. But that's all right. I think we have enough. At least he's over here. I think that's good. That's plenty. Yep, that's good. Let's go home. We got what we came here for. The place is mine. We kicked those bastards. How come this doesn't show clear? should show cleared, shouldn't it? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't show cleared. We wouldn't be able to claim the workshop if there was still an enemy kicking around, so... Alright. I thought that that always showed cleared, but I guess not. Hmm. Alright. It's fine. But we got a place for the boat, and we got a place for the APC. It's all good. And I don't have to worry about the neighbors anymore. It just twerks. A like Captain Squirrel would say, it just twerks. It's loot time. Well, we'll put the loot away. Figure out what we're gonna do next here. Yes. Yep. The um, Kingsport Lighthouse Jaber is going to be my transit hub. Because the Red Wave docks there. And the APC goes literally right outside. So I can have both of those there. Because I'm probably not going to be using fast travel. Or vertebrate fast travel this time around. I'm not going to be using fast travel. Period. But... Yeah, basically they get the boat there. The boat and the APC. That's one of the reasons I chose the location for the for the house. Where it is, it's, it's right next to it. And it's a good good place to go. Alright, oh, sorting container. Let's do that. But yeah, mainly for the boat. I want to use the red wave a lot more this playthrough. We're going to just kind of dump some of this stuff in here. I will sort this off. Off cast. Um, I want to hang on to that hazmat suit. I'll probably sell that. And we'll hang on to that stuff. Uh, that I'm going to sell... Gamma rounds for days now. 
Kate Darwin. What you need? This is my favorite part of the job. Okay. Kate, or you, whatever your name is, Heather, Let's do it. Maybe we Heather Casden. I think that yeah, she doesn't have anything. Rest here. The place is built like a fortress. All right, then we'll sort this. Okay. Do you have any frag grenades, Commissary Terminal? You do. You have two of those. Well, I need those. Definitely need those. Alright. Alright, let's head back upstairs. Get some food. I'm going to put some stuff in the fridge, and then I think we'll go do the Jack Cabot uh, mission up to... Um, the Insane Asylum. I want to get some of this stuff out of my inventory first. Because we're not that far from Parsons. I'd like to go and do that. Get that out of the way. I'm not going to go over to, um... Oh, what the hell is it there? The place with the Death Claw in the Tower. We'll, we'll save that. Uh, we'll be going back up that way anyway. Because it is getting late. I'm going to have to quit here. Relatively soon. But we'll go up there some other time. Let me back up that part of the map before you know it. And we'll just put that in there for now. That's good. That is a lot out of my inventory. That's going to be a lot of cold, busy drinks. Okay. Food. And we'll heal up with this gizmo. Let's remove the, whatever rads we have. Oh, they wouldn't have any rads. You just came through the detox. Herp a derp. I got rads from the food. That's right. Hope Lama does make a Skyrim follow. Would like one with the depth of Willow and of Heather in your playthrough. Yeah, I know she was working on one. I think she had this. I think real life stuff happened and she ended up having to stop. Here, take this. It's on me. You'll like it. Trust me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I, I I know she was pretty far along with it. Because I, last night, she did make a post um, that she was playtesting. Yeah, I only got 16. I went through a lot of water there. Uh, actually, somebody did ask her again on the Heather Kasdan page, like yesterday, what the status was. And I haven't seen a response yet. All right. But yeah, that would be cool. So, oh, we're way down. We had a lot of quests here backed up. All right, special delivery. Talk to the guard captain. Let's head up there. We'll make a beeline up to Parsons. We have plenty of other stuff to do around here, but we're not going to do it right now. Uh, I want to get up there, go talk to the guard captain, and head back down to Jack. Talk to him. That'll get us uh, the next part of that quest, but we're going to hang on to that for next time. I think we'll do that. Go back to Diamond City, get the APC, and bring that here, and I'm going to have to wrap it up for the night. Yeah, because then we kicked, uh, kicked those, um, those whack jobs off my, off my land. I got a place to go park the truck. Oh, oh fuck, we got a death... Yeah, we got a freaking death claw over here. What could possibly go wrong with a death claw over here? What could possibly, possibly go wrong? That's our first death jaw. Our very first death jaw. Did you ever see a death jaw sleeping before? And I don't have my turrets either. That's what sucks. 
Get him, Heather. No, oh, that was that was kind of close. <laughs> that was a little close. Okay. Oh, what do you have? <gasps> it's pocketed. I think I might be taking this and wearing it. It's pocketed and it's lightweight. Yes, please. Yeah. That's going to be something. That's going to be a new outfit. Oh, where the hell did you come from? That was a genuine jump scare. Right fucking there. I'll let you guys do them. <laughs> that was an A1 genuine jump scare. Oh, let's go behind. I'm not going to. I'm going to pick up the map marker. We're not going to go in here tonight. Oh, we'll pick up the map marker. We'll get the quest. Okay, I'm not getting the map marker. I guess you gotta go out front, right? Okay. Private? What happened to Private Heart? Don't leave anything behind that might... What happened to Private Heart? Private Heart has no heart. Private Heart's holotape. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? What was his name? Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh, my. Connor! Where, where's the rest of him? <sighs> Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? That did not sound good. We should get inside, just in case. Just, yeah, let's get inside, Heather. That's a great idea. We're, we're not going inside tonight. But we will. I, the reason I wanted to come back here... There are witches in Salem. Like from a storybook. Yes. The Howled Out Rock with a note. You know, let's take all the things. And we're going to read that note. It's just the note. No. This is the note. Wrong note. S. Been too long. Sorry I missed you at Megaton. Looks like history repeats itself. But as promised, here's the gear I scrounged up. All the best and stay safe. The Commonwealth is its own kind of hell. Yeah, this is a Fallout 3 Easter egg. The Voltborn read a note outside Megaton in a howl howled out rock from S to E ten years ago. With pretty much the same loot, where she got her first sniper rifle from. They followed her here. She's not too paranoid. Yes, get inside the museum. What could possibly go wrong? So yeah, that's a little Fall 3 Easter egg there. Switch over to this. It doesn't sound good. Let's get inside. Might as well go get Coastal Cottage cleared out. It's kind of on the way. It's getting, getting eaten by the death jaw thinking, Dad was wrong about me never becoming shit. Oh boy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dad knew nothing. Oh, I'm stuck. What? What? Who? Where are the other ones here? Oh great, we got a Myra Lurk Razor Claw. I'm fucking stuck on the fence or something. Oh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll let Heather do the thing. <laughs> Did you see his health go down? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We'll just unlock. We're not going to do anything. But there is a Nuka Cola over here. Should be. Yep. Or Nuka Cherry, rather. Hey, you had a stim pack. Yes, please. Okay. Bottles? Bottles. Oh, Heather. Yep. Coastal Cottage, everyone. Say goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm definitely getting hungry now, so we'll go wrap this up and I I, I, I have real world stuff to do tonight too, so we'll kinda of move this along. Let me make sure there's nothing. Nothing nasty over here. Yeah, clearing out um Kingsport Lighthouse took a little bit longer than I had planned on. But that was fun. Oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Seriously. Let's let's see what, what happens here. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho. Off to Parsons we go. Are they not gonna be hostile? Are you Are the security guards in with the Institute? What? What is all this? They're just strolling in. Look at this. The security guards are not very well trained, apparently. Something goes this. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah, these were the things that we saw. You have a skull. The the guards do not give a fuck. There are zero fucks given by the guards. And they all have red skulls. Look, look at the guard back there. Zero fucks are given. Yes, I'm a security guard at Parsons. When synths show up, zero fucks are given. Ah, ah, ah. Well, now. I bet they had some ammunition. Yes, they did. Fucking synth. Where's Maria? Um, just testing things. Biztop grill enhancement works with Nuka Roll Reborn. Happy to have clean beds. Oh, cool. I've looked at that Nuka Roll Reborn, but I never actually played around with it. Maria! I just met a girl named Maria. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Uh, Edward Deacon said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing. Oh. You're the new girl, so this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. 
So who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. It's raining. At least it's not raining. Alright. So, even though they have the combat armor, they always spawn with it, no matter what level you're at, so... Still haven't found anywhere. We're level 17 now? We should be seeing uh, that stuff spawn naturally pretty soon. Hmm. Did you hear that? I, I did not, Heather. I did not hear that. So Nuka Roll Reborn, Jim, is that the one that cleans up uh, cleans up the park? You like that mad dog? It's it's a zipper, yes. It's glorious. It's a glorious zipper. Oh he oh Heather, yes. Heather's never heard a zipper before, apparently. I think we got a little ways to go yet. Let's... Now the actual courier can be found on the road here someplace. Is that him up there? Yeah, that's the actual courier there. Uh, Nuka Roper has alternate story... Alternate storylines and a few new characters. Okay, thanks. That That's the one that I actually was going to look at. And it's been updated enough that maybe next time I'll try it out. Adds a different Brotherhood, brotherhood faction. Okay, that's the one that I, I've been I've been tracking it and I kinda I, I kinda lost track of it. It's a courier, everyone. Imagine a courier getting shot in the head or whatever happened to him. Imagine that. A courier and they're ending up dead. Never heard of such a thing. Never heard of such a thing. Yeah, where have we seen where have we seen that before? A dead courier. Shot in the head. No idea. Whoops. That actually has collision on it. How about that? Let's try and loop around here. Uh, every time I come up here, it's raining and it's dark. Every fucking time I do this quest, it's the weather's like this. At least Benny buried me exactly. <laughs> the game was in fact rigged from the start. We're gonna make a save here. I, I swear to God, every time I come up here, it's like this. That reminds me. Hey, look, it actually maintained my settings from last night. How about that? The grave was digged from the start. Wah, wah. I see what you did there. the only gun I have that has a recon scope. It probably will be the only... Unless I find one or buy one, this would be the only recon scope gun I have. There she, I want to know where the other ones are, though. I think they're up top. That's... Alright, Kate's bitching about... Oh, Christ. Kate's bitching about something back there I can hear her. Who are they shooting at? Who are they shooting at? I, they're shooting at somebody. Is this an opportunity for us to move in? Who are they fucking shooting at? He's saying that he can't see. This ought to be interesting. What? 
Who are they shooting at? Whoa. Oh no, you don't. Another ri That's not what I wanted to do. What the hell was that? Okay, I, I did not want to do that. I actually did not want that. But that's okay. I think uh I think Heather got him. Oh. Who the hell were they shoot they were shooting at somebody else though? Let me know if you find some spare ammo. I, I found some spare ammo. I totally found spare ammo, Kate. They were they were shoot I thought it looked like they were shooting at somebody up there. Mysterious serum. Maybe they're yeah, maybe they decided to uh betray each other. Get the serum on their own. Who can say? I don't think there's really much here. Let's check it out. We got bottles. Bottles are very important. Hey, whiskey. Ah, son of a bitch. Shotgun shells. Yes, please. Proper teddy bear. We need homes for the teddy bears. We'll take that for the APC. Dirty water. Yes, please. More bottles. Skyrim is for the gourds. Alright. That's all that's worthwhile up here. All right, we gotta head back to Mr. Cabot now. Let's head back the way we kind of the way we came up here. I don't wanna I don't wanna go hit the slog yet, so let's um kind of loop back the way we came back towards the house. I miss it's only noon. You'd never know it was twelve in the afternoon in this game. Look at how dark it is. Holy shit. One question I'd like to ask Todd Howard. Most fans say that New Vegas is the best title in the Fall series. How much does this bother you that the title wasn't developed by your studio? You say, what game? Sorry, you, you, your question came out a little garbled. Can you ask it again? Is there a mod that allows you to turn over the Mysterious Serum to the Institute for them to study and manufacture? Actually, I think yes. I think... I want to say... The Father Companion mod. That's by the same mod author that's doing the... Um, Institute Alternate Ending mod that I'm going to be using. Has an option that... You can use that to save Father. You give it to one of the Institute scientists. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can give the Mysterious Serum to one of the Institute scientists, and it can cure Father of his cancer. So he doesn't die. I think that's a thing. I'm going to heal up here. That might very well be a thing. Oh, there's a bunch of reds there. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't know where... Where's Heather? Oh, there's Heather. Okay. Hey, let's go see Leonard. 
For Uncle Lander. We'll go see Leonard for Uncle Lander because Leonard tends to die in Uncle Lander's games quite a bit. There he is. I you, buy and sell. You might get yourself killed out here. Got and let's see if we can make a deal. Um, anything out here happening lately? If you don't mind, prefer to just talk shop for now. A lot of quality goods here. Quality goods. All right, let's see what you have. I can sell a few things to him. Um, we can get rid of that. Definitely that. Oh, no, I'm, I definitely want to start wearing that at some point. Pocketed. Lightweight leather armor. Yes, please. Wonder glue. Look at all, look at all the freaking bottles I got. See, this is why I don't have a uh, bottle recycling mod. Even without it, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting tons and tons of water. It's wonderful. All right, you have... I want, look, look at the 5.56 five, on Leonard. Check out the big 5.56 five, on Leonard. Um, Pre-war monies. Do I have some pre-war monies I can give you? I do. How about we do this? And you give me cash. Yes, please. Okay. All right. Off we go. The APC is at Diamond City, so after we turn this into Jack, he's going to give us the Imaging Takes Lover quest, which we're not going to do right now. We'll save that for next time. But I want to get the APC and bring it back to the house so that I can start doing, uh, you know, the inventory shuffle and, and whatnot. So that'll be done for next time. So, upcoming schedule. I may, I may or may not be able to get to it at the very end of the stream. Upcoming schedule for streamings. Streaming related streams. Um, I am not using the smooth talker hat. No, I actually kind of forgot about it. I didn't want to kill him either. That's hey, it's Doc Anderson. Care. I'm glad I could help. Oh, you have no idea what a relief this is. Uh, I can't thank I'm you so enough. Safe travel. The doc's the best, isn't she? She is. Many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look. She wasn't here last time. Um. Actually, more interested in what you have for sale. Let's see what I can spare. Okay. Um, blood packs. Yes, please. She has a plastic pumpkin. Every doctor should have a plastic pumpkin. What do we have for stim packs? I may buy actually buy a few stim packs from her. My companions seem to be going through quite a few of them. I'm going to buy six. I don't have any cigarettes or anything, right? No, I don't. That's good. All right, Doc. Uh, actually, no. Um, Doc Anderson interrupted me. I, I didn't want to... Going to see Doc Anderson? I already did. I can't recommend her highly enough. I just saw Doc Anderson. No, I saw Doc Anderson. I was like, um... If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Uh, I'm good, Doc. I'm good for now. Very well. Yep. It's very rare that I get to run into her. But I actually gave her the that's outfits from uh, Eleanor's Armor Companion. That's actually the, the outfit you're supposed to get for Curie. I gave it to her instead. But yes, upcoming streams, um, probably during the week, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm going to probably shoot for Tuesday again. That's kind of a better night for me. And um, next weekend, I will not be streaming next weekend. I'm going to be going out of town. So there will not be a stream on Saturday for sure. Friday is up in the air. It depends on if I leave town on Friday after work or Saturday morning. I would like to stream. Let's go drop this stuff in the house here first. I would like to stream Friday night. But if I end up leaving town, I will not, obviously. So, I will, uh... I will make the notifications as they, uh, uh... 
as they happen. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be streaming next Saturday because I'll be out of town. So, But going to try and do the thing on, on uh, Friday. If I'm around. See, and if I'm able to do a, a Tuesday or Wednesday stream, we'll be doing more of this. Uh, actually, I wanted the sorting. Why did I come all the way down here? I just wanted sorting. Yes, that is the recruitable doctor, but you have to have... You have to have X amount of... Settlers in order to be able to... Actually, I was going to sell that. Oh, well. You have to have a certain amount of uh, settlers in order to sell... Uh, to be able to recruit her. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to that for now. So, since I... That kind of um, locks me out of that, but I'm okay with that. I just wanted to leave some of this stuff here. I'm going to throw some of the stim packs in here. Let's throw those, and that's good. I'll deal with the rest later. Let's drop the save. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how many settlers you need, but you need some. All right, Tasty, you have a good night. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Yeah, we'll be wrapping up here soon. I actually got to... I, I should be stopping right about now, but I want to turn this quest in. But thanks for coming and hanging out with us, Tasty. Good to see you. We'll see you next time. So, yes, possible stream Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, possible stream on Friday. No stream on Saturday. No stream for you. And nothing tomorrow. Nope. I'm taking the day off. I got... I got real world stuff I got to do tomorrow, so. No stream. I got real world adult stuff. You know, stuff that's no fun. I'm going to try something here. Since I have the hazmat suit, I'm going to put the hazmat... What's this up here? Uh-oh. Three... Oh, Raiders! Who are the raiders shooting at? We hate fucking raiders. Something's ghostless. Bad streamer has a life. I know. It's terrible. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just take all the things and sell it. Oh, we got the brown face bug. How about that? I haven't gotten that in a very, very long time. Let's reload that. That should clear it up. I haven't gotten the brown face bug in ages, and I'm supposed to... There it goes. I have a mod that's supposed to take care of that. Poor Mac. Yeah, I have a mod. I have the, um... The rusty face fix. That's the first time it hasn't worked in a very, 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 very long time. I have the hazmat suit. Let's drop that on. I go swimming with... Swimming... Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Because I don't have the... Uh, if I take the helmet off... Toggle this on and off again. There we go. Full featured hazmat suit. Yeah, usually if I get it, it's on females. I very rarely do I get it on males, but... Like I said, it's the first time in ages I've had that happen. Whoa, what, uh... What are we shooting at over here? Oh, raiders! Oh, you bastard! Freaking, uh... Oh shit, don't tell me I'm gonna die here. 
I don't even know where the hell they are. Oh, that's dog meat. Oh, shit. Where the hell are they? You're up there. Okay. Heather. <laughs> I could not even see where they were. Between the grass, they were behind the rocks and the grass. I couldn't see where the hell they were. Hey, there's our first set of classic metal armor. Yay. Well, that was worth it. It was totally worth it. Uh, actually, I'm going to give one of these... Uh, that stuff's pretty heavy. Heather. Let's do it. Ah, classic metal armor is awesome. Although, it tends to spawn a little much for my liking sometimes. But it's still cool. Yeah, but it weighs 27. It's good stuff, though. Very good stuff. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry. All right, we got to get this, get this done. Donger needs food. What's for dinner? What the hell is for dinner? Oh, I'm gonna make. Hello. I'm sure I got something. All right, there it is. That's our that's our first piece of naturally spawning combat armor. Yes. So I can I next time I can wear the Ranger's combat armor. Yes, please. Uh, I'm probably going to actually going to make um grilled cheese sandwiches and some soup. Low effort, delicious. You don't have anything I want. Cause I got, I got, I got to actually run out and run some errands tonight. So it's going to be a quick, a very quick, low effort meal. But god damn, it's going to be good. All right, we have ghouls. We have ghouls at um, County Crossing. Whoa, 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 whoa! I, I, I see that actually. Another fucking glowing one. Come on, triple die, please. Please to be dying. Thank you. Is that all you've got? Please to be dying. Thank you. Oops, I'm gonna have to swap out the victory rifle and the plasma rifle. I keep. I had the victory rifle on. Uh... On six, or on five, rather. Keep hitting the wrong damn one. I'll have to swap those out. So how many ghoul patrol... Oh, shit. Is that... Oh, fuck. A Sultron and a Mr. Gutsy. And not the friendly ones. The very hostile... Yeah, see, the very hostile, very dangerous ones. Son of a bitch. Yeah, something's out there. Is right. Ah, fuck. Something's out there. All right. You're gonna pay. Damn it. Oh, settlers down. I don't know where the hell the assaultron went. Okay, all assaultrons down. That was one of my big worry. Well, that was easy. Oh, look, a settlement needs my help. <laughs> oh, that's what they do if, if you're um, if you're a certain distance away from them. They have no animation. They just do the T-Posey dance thing. That's that's normal. It's absolutely normal. And no, I'm not talking to you. But it's pretty like when you go to Nuka World, when you go to do the Nuka World, you go to the transit center. And if you're far enough away, you look through a sniper scope, and the assault run there, she's just bouncing along. 
The legs aren't moving, nothing's happening. It's hilarious. I think it's a good time to make a save. Absolutely. Side quest exploration of the game, do you like them? Yes, I, I think the side quests are better than the main quests. Better than the faction quests. Side quests, to me, are the best part of this game. Hands down. Uh, I, I, I wish the world space was a bit more developed. I wish that it had, um... That's a sentry bot. That's a sentry bot sound. I wish there were more actual towns. Okay, there, there's a sentry bot. I think he spawned in. Yep. Amphibious sentry bots, ladies and gentlemen. Annihilator sentry bot. Yeah, we're just going to let him stay there. <laughs> At first I thought, well, maybe it's maybe it's Gus and Cat. But I didn't see Cat anywhere, so... Not Gus. It's not Gus. Better than Skyrim? Well, I have not completely, uh, I, I've never played, actually played a full playthrough of Skyrim, but I can tell you from the little bit that I have now. Skyrim, I think, has much more to do, much more to explore. Just from my limited experience with it. The problem with Fallout 4's map is that all of this is, on it, so much of it, all this is water. So much of the map is underwater with absolutely nothing in it. And that's unfortunate. How are you doing, doing, Deadly Panda? I've already gone to see Deb twice today, so we don't need to do that. I'm kind of glad that sentry bot spawned under the ground like that. That was, um... Uh, do I have anything over here that I need? The courier station. Do put... Grilled cheese, put parm on the butter, but... Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I do have some parm. I got some really nice, um, cheddar that I'll be using. Oh, so I do have mini guns here. Hmm. Now, let's do this. I'm gonna take some of these things. That is a wonderful idea. All right, I think that's good for now. That stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, now now I'm even more hungry. <laughs> I'm even more freaking hungry now. Oh, I hear I hear shooties. I think I have 120 hours in my very... 100, maybe a little more than that. My one and only Skyrim playthrough. The last time I played it was when I streamed it on Christmas. Uh-oh. Might be why Deacons She's never asked me back. Mother. Do you know where she is? So did you find out what happened to the courier? Um, yeah, so, uh, some raiders ambushed them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Serum? What serum? No, the, um... I didn't find any. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Guess they must have used it all. Yeah, figures. Oh, well. Here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. Yeah, no. It's terrible about the serum. As far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Okay. There might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. You go check that out, Kate. I gotta go follow Edward. Maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. We've been over this, mother. Ginger. Cheese and crackers. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. That would be me. I can me. always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> 
<laughs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, we tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Hmm, do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Hmm. Uh, so what if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Who Usually, says I can't? by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? All right. Who says I can't knock her on the head and drag her home? I'm the vault born. I can do that. Yeah, Edwards. He should have been a companion. He should have had the option to make him a companion. <clears throat> That's the other thing that Skyrim has over this is like everyone you bump into in Skyrim, it's almost like they can be a companion, they can be a follower. Don't know why they sent us after Imogene. She always goes home after she's used up some poor sucker. <laughs> Every, every person, almost every other person you walk into, oh, want me to travel with you? Not so much here. Yeah, he's awesome. I agree, I agree, Nye. Um, all right, so we're gonna go back to Diamond City, get the APC and bring that home for the first time, and then I'm gonna have to wrap things up so I can go eat and do my uh, my adult stuff. Where there's a crater, there's ferals or crazy animals. Can't think of anyone else Aliens, maybe. If it wasn't so late, I'd stop in, go to the third rail, but um, we'll do that next time. Probably just do the cabin house thing next time and get that out of the way. Tina DeLuca is another one that could have been a companion. Yep. There's, uh, I know there's a mod that adds that. And the alternate ending mod for the Institute that we're using. Oh, shit. Depending on how you uh, how you handle the railroad, you may be able to get Glory as a companion. And that is fucking cool, because when I tested uh, Subversion, I did just that. And gave her Maxon's battle coat. The irony of Glory wearing Maxon's battle coat was just too good to pass up. So we have a lot of places to go along. We still have to go to Huber's Comics. We still have to go to the church over here. Have to go to that little raider camp back there. We gotta go clear that out. Huh? So they don't say, huh? Every time I run by. What the hell was that? In fact, I gotta get the map marker for this. Gotta load Subversion just to say... Oh, it's fucking awesome. I mean, granted, she doesn't have a ton of dialogue. Because, you know, that's her role... That's the biggest church in the Commonwealth. I think you're right, Heather. Because, I mean, she was never intended to be a companion, but what was done is fucking cool. The only issue with the, um, because her, her, and the Z114 at the Institute. Look at them all. Look at them. Holy Christmas. Uh, Z114 you can get from the Institute. He can be companion. They, um, they don't have infinite ammo. They take fall damage, all that stuff. So, you kind of have to, um, I, I patched that myself. So, that's just something. Because Glory ran out of, um, Glory ran out of a ammo for her minigun. Like, oh, we must fix that. 
Yes, and I did easily fix it, as I said. Buggy's mods let you have Gloria and Tina's companions. Yes, yes. I thought C. Dante had a mod. No, C. Dante, I think, has a bug fix for recruiting her to settlements. Maybe that's the one I'm thinking of. There's all kinds of, all kinds of explosions and shooty shooty bang bang stuff. Um, no, we're not going in. What am I doing? We're not going in Diamond City. Although I'm really tempted to leave Kate here. I'm really tempted to leave Kate at home plate. Do you want to do that? No, uh, I will take her back. We'll take her back to the base for now. I'll figure that out later. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to settlements, Kingsport Lighthouse. I can't get any more affinity with Kate until I do her companion quest, and I'm not gonna do her companion quest for a long time. So I, I'm probably gonna be leaving her at home plate sooner rather than later. Let me just see if there's anything in here. You know what? I'll deal with it later. I gotta go. Before the next stream, I'll, I'll do the inventory maintenance, get all the stuff that's in there, get it out. Hey, look! So one reason that um, it's good to have the turrets here is this actually is a... Oh, thank you, Doge Meat. Thank you. Thank you for putting that helmet on your, your, um, on your nose there. Uh, this does is is a pat patrol route for NPCs. I've actually had raider patrols come through here, and the turrets just love them. Oh, come on, boy! Unofficial patch restores the ability to recruit her. It was cut in vanilla. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know it was supposed to be a thing. That's pretty cool. The rads. All right. Well, we'll finish the cabin house uh, quest next time. We'll have a bobblehead and a, a new decoration. But for now, I think we're gonna have to wrap it up. So let's bid adieu to the vault born. She's finally home. The Vault Born has finally, finally found her home. Her home away from home. This is just like the place she left back in D.C. Outside Rivet City. So we'll pick up here next time around. And, um, yeah. This was a lot of fun. I really did not expect to be streaming for six and a half hours. <laughs> totally did not. Totally did not. So let's make a save here.